Park and another Fox Saturday baseball game of the week. It's the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox on a gorgeous day in Boston. Fenway Park and game two of this series between the top two teams in the American League's Eastern Division. The Yankees with a three and a half game lead over Boston, but Boston with a two game lead over Oakland in the wild card chase in the American League. Welcome to the booth. I'm Joe Buck, Tim McCarver in just a minute. Well, let's think about this series. These two teams, these organizations really geared up for this set at Fenway Park. There were moves made to try to bolster the two rosters before this weekend with the Boston Red Sox going out and getting Scott Sauerbeck from Pittsburgh and then the Yankees turning around and picking up 46-year-old left-hander Jesse Orozco from the San Diego Padres. The game was managed different last night. Tim McCarver will look at uh, will look at last night's game and that's something we rarely do on a Saturday game of the week, but it's worth worth it because there's so much happened in that Friday night game. In a game with so many highlights, we have chosen four. In the top of the sixth inning, runners on at first and third, staying out of the double play is Joe Torre, and the Yankees tie it by sending the runner. Jesse Orozco, his first appearance as a Yankee, striking out Johnny Damon with the bases loaded. In the ninth inning, the second of two stolen bases by Enrique Wilson. That sets up the winning run as Derek Jeter plates him with a sacrifice fly in the ninth inning, and the Yankees win it 4-3. to three. What a ball game. And for the Boston Red Sox, who was on the mound? Byung Hun Kim, a guy who's been their closer. He ends up getting the loss in the ninth inning, and who did it to him? The New York Yankees. Well, you can look at the history between between these two franchises and you see some of the biggest moments in Major League Baseball's history and we continue the rivalry today the Boston Red Sox and those bats take on Mike Messina and this Yankee team fun from Fenway and it's yours next on Fox. We're here to learn how to trust our wireless phones, which is hard because we've all been hurt before, haven't we? Johnny? We're accepting that our phones are unreliable, that some features work here no, and not no, over that's there. That's not helping. Try hugging the phone, not choking it. Okay. Sprint is different. All your services work the same wherever you go on the most complete all digital wireless network in the nation. Like voicemail and email? Even clear calls. I think we just made a breakthrough. PCS from Sprint. Try the nation's most complete wireless network. These people are getting answers to the most important questions they'll ever ask. Questions about their health. They're finding those answers in a single place. WebMD. 16 million people come to WebMD every month. They find vital information that used to be scattered in a hundred locations, now all in one place. The place America comes for healthcare answers. A place called WebMD. When you hit the brakes, a whole lot of things have to go just right. It's the same with brake repair. That's why you can count on Midas, America's trusted leader in brakes. Right now, get $20 instant savings on any brake service from Midas, even on Midas' famous lifetime brake pads and shoes, the last set of pads or shoes you'll ever buy. That's $20 instant savings right now from the auto service experts, Midas. Taco Bell's Chicken Caesar Grilled Stuffed Burrito. Loaded with so much tender all-white meat, chicken, crisp romaine lettuce, and tangy Caesar dressing, you may get seized by Caesar. To fill up on Caesar salad taste, think outside the bun. They're here, and somebody's gonna pay. Ah! You've been spotted. You've won. It's the Aquafina Pure Luck promotion. Get spotted with an Aquafina, and you can win pure cash. This could be your lucky water. Whose eyes are those? Whose eyes are those? Kareem Garcia. I got help from the truck. I have no idea whose eyes those are. You're doing it again, Tim. You're taking money on a day when both you and I would show up at this ballpark and watch this game for nothing. We, we would show up and watch this game for free. We showed up last night, watched the game for free, and we were caught up in uh, one of the great regular season games in recent years. Terrific ball game last night. The calendar says July, but these games are not going to be played like it's July. Certainly last night game was not. Alfonso Soriano will lead it off for the Yankees, then Jeter and Giambi 
Williams, Matsui, and Nick Johnson is back. He's at first base. Mondesi, Ventura, and Flaherty because of his success against the starter for the Red Sox today. Burkett is in there doing the catching and batting in the number nine spot. That and it's the day game after a night game scenario for these soft catchers, these big league catchers that just can't answer the bell day after day, Tim. And here's John Burkett, the right-hander, who is 8-4 for the Red Sox. Yeah, one guy answering the bell is the battery mate of John Burkett. Eight and four on the season, as you said, Joe, but 0 and six in 10 games and nine starts for his career against the New York Yankees. He does not throw hard, so he has to stay away from the middle of the plate. You could say that about any pitcher, but particularly John Burkett. Loaded arsenal, he throws everything, and the one strikeout pitch that you can uh, watch from home or at least look for today is with right-handed batters, two strikes, that two-seam fastball that comes in under the hands of the right-handed. Defensively for the Red Sox, they line it up in their typical fashion with an outfield of Ramirez, Damon, and Nixon, and an infield of Miller, Garcia Parra, Todd Walker, and Kevin Millar. Johnny Damon is automatic out in center, and that's not an easy center field to play here at Fenway Park. The catcher is Jason Veritek, and I was only giving you a little ribbing about the catcher. <laughs> oh, I know. Not answering the bell on a day game after a night game, and obviously Posada is one of the most durable and a guy who's always in there, but it points out Veritek. I mean, he gets very little time off and is a guy that day after day is back there for the Red Sox, and to me, if I had to pick a catcher to go with in the American League, my number one pick would be Jason Veritek. I agree with that. I think he's the best catcher in the American League, perhaps in baseball. 1-0 pitch to Soriano misses low and away. Two balls, no strikes. Now, they say that Soriano all season has hung in that strike zone the way he is right now, but I noticed it a lot more over the past month and a half, more than I ever have, and he is there daring to be pitched inside, daring really to be hit with that left elbow. That is ripped foul into the seats and thankfully some gloves over there. It's two and one. Soriano only six for his last 26 and you see the fall off after the first 50 games. He has uh, so far this year been a man of two seasons. The last 49 not nearly as good as the first 50. Two balls and a strike. Jeter and Giambi will follow for the Yankees. And that's hit into the gap in left center field. It'll get down and go to the scoreboard. And Alfonso Soriano has started this day for the Yankees with a double. Some pitchers intimidate hitters. Some hitters intimidate pitchers. And Alfonso Soriano is the latter. The way he hangs over the plate. There is really no way to make a good pitch against Soriano because of his plate coverage. That ball was away, not on the corner, but Soriano right on the fat part of the bat gets his first hit of the series. Well, we were here a couple of years ago when Ron Culpa was the home plate umpire, and we had that incident with Culpa and Everett at home plate and have actually changed the outline with which they line the batter's box here at Fenway Park. There is no inside line. So Soriano as opposed to Everett a couple of years ago, can get with this batter's box as close as he wants to, really, to home plate. They used to have boxes on each side where there was an inside line, and that was the source of the problem for Carl Everett and Ron Culpa. One ball, no strikes on Jeter, who's hitting 423 with runners on this season. There's a strike, and it's one and one. Look at the uh, infield defensively. Kevin Millar so far off the line at first base. No first baseman in the American League plays Jeter as far off the line as the Red Sox. Noticed it last night. That is a spot right there that Jeter peppers consistently between the first base, between the first baseman and the right field line. Let me ask you this with that area down the right field line though if the balls hit past the bag and down the line there's a better chance in this ballpark because of the way it's configured it'll bounce off that little area down the right side and might be played to a single anyway that's true but with Millar you keep it from getting to the outfield by playing closer to the line and that's the point that's at least the point I was trying to make two balls and a strike on Jeter 
trying to advance the runner and you see what he does it's about an even split all the way across left center and right when he is going hot he's hitting the ball to the right side of the field with consistency two balls and a strike Jeter thinks that Burkett took too long and Burkett is taking a while to bring home this 2 1 pitch. Okay, what's happening here? Veritech's going to go out and talk as Burkett has become a statue out on the mound. Well, Jim Codd, a terrific announcer now for the Yankees, a great career, 283 wins. One of his favorite sayings was, You think long, you think wrong. And generally speaking, that's right. Dave Wallace, the pitching coach, looking on. So they did it verbally and a 2 1 pitch he is low and away 3 and 1 with Jason Giambi waiting on deck. So here's Burkett who is 0 and 6 in 10 appearances against the Yankees in his career with an ERA over nine and a half in first inning trouble. is foul and out of play down the right side it's a full count when you look at the way this series stacked up the Boston Red Sox who came in two and a half games behind the Yankees had to think all right we've got to win the Pedro game that was last night you can't like the matchup today if you're a Red Sox fan and who knows what will happen with Burkett and Messina and then they like the matchup tomorrow with Weaver against Lowe it's a full count on Jeter And that's in the left field pretty well hit but didn't get it all and Ramirez will coast and make the catch one on one out throw behind the runner and Soriano came within an eyelash of getting doubled off second base one out number 25 Jason Giambi. I think Manny Ramirez just surprised Soriano with that throw behind him well, Manny Ramirez surprised a lot of Red Sox fans last night being doubled off of first base not knowing how many outs there were so perhaps he was thinking Soriano would fall into that same trap or at least take his time getting back to second <laughs> here's Giambi now the number three hitter the DH with Johnson playing first base 259 average 28 home runs and that's good for second in the American League. It's going to be very very hard for John Burkett to get inside the left handed batters. That's one of the problems that John has now. He doesn't throw that hard anymore and you have to pitch Giambi inside to be effective. That's what Martinez did last night when he struck out three times. Came right after Giambi with that first pitch strike one. It's well known that Jason had that calcium deposit taken off. And I in the earlier part of the season after getting off to a horrendous start hit only 219 his first 51 games since up over 300 the production is back the power is back and here's an 0 1 from Burkett trying to go inside and not getting the call one ball one strike there are the numbers first 51 games only nine home runs took him deep into May and over the last 48 48 RBIs one ball one strike runner at second one out and now Burkett is taking a while with Giambi at the plate and now another conference between Veritech and John Burkett some teams uh appear to be obsessed when a runner is on at second base and the Red Sox are one of them. We talked about the prowess of Veritek behind the plate. But I think Jason worries too much about guys on second getting his signs. Red Sox may lead the league in conferences on the mound and in front of the mound. Veritek most of the time with two strikes on a hitter will just run out and talk to the pitcher with a guy on and not even give signs. Right. We have our first chant coming out of this crowd at Fenway as a 1 1 pitch misses down and in. And we've also been 
fascinated and floored with the way Veritek gives his signs with a runner at second base. Really, sometimes more of that. Moving the hand around the body, around the chest protector. 2 1 pitch. 3 and 1 with Bernie Williams next. Burkett, a former 22 game winner. That was when he was with San Francisco. 1993, he and Bill Swift were both 20 game winners. Jason Veritek resembling a policeman in Bermuda giving those signs. Ground ball to second, and Walker has time for the flip. Two out. And over to third is Soriano, who led off this first inning with a double. Let's take a look at how the Red Sox worked Jason Giambi. We talked about the need to come inside. Backup slider for the first pitch, and then Burkett misses inside. He misses inside again. Then he misses away, and then a little slop drop gets Jason Giambi. Sometimes it's not the pitch, but how you got there, and they impressed Giambi inside and then got him out with a, a pitch he normally handles. Since coming off the disabled list on the 9th of July, Bernie Williams is only 11 out of 50, had three hits last night. And he bats with Soriano at third and two out. And a strike on the inside corner as Williams is right on top of the plate. Joe Torre talking before the game about the importance of getting a runner at third base in this ballpark more than any other because a base hit to left field doesn't necessarily score a run because it's so shallow out in left as Williams is jammed two inside deliveries it's 0 and 2 base running changes somewhat and Joe pointing that out that normally you don't like to make the third out at, at third base but you would take more of a chance in this ballpark you could really point to Jesse Orozco with that one batter and the base running of the Yankees for winning that game last night. Sending didn't start well for Burkett but it could end well in this crowd the Red Sox fans hope it ends with Williams standing at the plate. No balls, two strikes. Soriano with third, two out. Numbers against Burkett. He has owned John Burkett, 12 out of 20, and the highest average among active players. So who would the Yankees rather have up there than Bernie Williams against this? Right hander who is not in the category of a hard thrower. Tries to hit his spots, changes speeds. 0 oh 2. That's Garcia Parra. And that's the end of the inning. A leadoff double. Burkett gets around it. Now the Red Sox come to the plate against Mike Messina. A half inning complete, no score. Come on in, Derek. I thought we'd discuss this thing and have it all worked out. You're our starting shortstop. How can you possibly afford to spend two nights dancing, two nights eating out, and three nights just carousing with your friends? Oh. If you want to enjoy the New York nightlife, bring your Visa card. Because Orso, Cheetah, and the Broom Street Bar don't take American Express. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. I've made a lot of news on the baseball diamond, but if you want to find out about this diamond, you've got to go talk to your doctor. Ready to try Viagra for the first time? See your doctor and find out if a free sample is right for you. My doctor says it's right for me. That's why I stay with it. For more information, go to Viagra.com. Hey, Dad, this computer would be perfect for school. Yeah, but this one would be a lot easier for you to, you know, bring home every weekend. It's that time again. And Circuit City is the place to save on all your back-to-school gear. 
Right now, you'll save $250 on this awesome notebook computer from HP with a DVD player and CD burner. Now, just $899.99 after instant and mail-in rebates. Circuit City, we're with you. Fox Saturday Baseball is brought to you by Circuit City. We're with you. And by Viagra. Step up to the plate and ask your doctor if a free sample of Viagra is right for you. Gorgeous day here in Boston, Fenway Park. Red Sox playing their 103rd game of the season. And we look at the Boston lineup. They lead it off with Johnny Damon, then Todd Walker batting second. Nomar Garcia Parra having a terrific season, hitting third. Manny Ramirez is in left field. Kevin Millar at first, Trot Nixon in right. Bill Miller, what a year he's having. And still nobody's talking about this guy. Jeremy Giambi is the DH, and Jason Veritek is the catcher, and he bats ninth. On the mound is the right-hander, Mike Messina, an 11-game winner. Johnny Damon first up, and ball one outside. There aren't too many pitchers that come to Fenway Park and say, gee, I'm pitching at Fenway tonight. What a thrill. A lot of success there, but Messina's one of them. Ten and five in this ballpark. Overall 16 and 11 in his career against the Red Sox as he finds a strike zone. It's one and one. Damon then Walker then Garcia Parra and this Boston Red Sox lineup has been phenomenal 295 average. They lead the major leagues in that category but it doesn't end there. Red Sox fans I'm sure they can't even grow tired of hearing these stats. The Red Sox lead the majors. If you look at the numbers for Messina trying to slow down this Boston lineup. Red Sox lead the majors in average run scored hits doubles triples extra base hits total bases on base percentage slugging percentage and sack flies. One two pitch. Damon up there just looking for a mistake and it's still one and two. Manny Ramirez part of this lineup with Garcia Parra and here are the numbers. 633 runs the hits the slugging percentage which if they continue at this pace would be historic one two pitch two and two you could see Mike Messina dropping down to a left handed batter that's the innovation Messina a very bright guy finished Stanford in three years in economics the innovates on the mound wide it's three and two Mike saw Pedro Martinez last night not getting that pitch and Mike you're not going to get that pitch either Quest Tech is in this ballpark one of ten in the major leagues and umpires umpire a tighter game here at Fenway three two pitch to Damon and it's a leadoff walk that is rare Mike Messina one of the best control pitchers in baseball only his 23rd walk of the season. Quest Tech is like it's almost reached El Nino status. Uh, Quest Tech is not touchy feeling, but Mike Messina is. He changes speeds off the knuckle curve. He'll drop down, and as we said, he knows how to win here. People talk about his stuff, but it's how he can turn his stuff into that touchy feely way of pitching. Here's the number two hitter Todd Walker hitting 285 and he lines one to first Nick Johnson looking for Damon but Johnny was back to the bag one out. The talk of the Quest Tech system and I know it, it, it's got to bore the heck out of people who probably don't fully understand it. I'm not sure I fully understand how the thing works. I'm not sure I fully understand it. But it has changed the way games are umpired at home plate in certain ballparks and Fenway was the first to get it. And because of that it's really the pitches side to side on the outside edges of the strike zone that pitchers don't get in this ballpark because home plate umpires are marked down if they grant those as strikes. So last night with two of the better control pitchers in the game Wells and Pedro Martinez you had high pitch counts deep counts on hitters and it was Dana DeMuth who was the home plate umpire and I'm sure more than once he said this is the way they want us to call it blame Quest Tech Damon runs and no chance for Flaherty stolen base number 20 for Johnny Damon 
Johnny a very alert base runner who reads the pitchers well and he also chose the right pitch on which to run. That's the knuckle curve in the dirt. Flaherty couldn't come up with it. So Damon on second base with one out. Nice play by Flaherty. Otherwise Damon's on third. Garcia Parra with a runner at second one out one ball no strikes. That is hit pretty well into center field. Back is Williams at the wall. It's gone. Home run, Garcia Parra. 2 0 Boston in the first. Happy birthday, Nomar. He turned 30 on Wednesday. A high slider or a knuckle curve that didn't knuckle nor curve. That ball was hit a long, long way. Just another dent on top of that roof where the cameras are planted here at Fenway Park and with one out nobody on Manny Ramirez takes ball one in the dirt for the Red Sox their 142nd home run of the season Garcia Parra has 16 and that ties the Red Sox with the Yankees for number two in the American League everybody looking up at Texas they lead the AL in home runs 1 0 pitch to Ramirez at the knees outside corner and Manny Ramirez says Questec <laughs> Questec one ball one strike Sabe Questec my friend Marvin Hudson one ball one strike late and strike two Questec no comprende <laughs> Well it's definitely a hot topic right now because of the way that Pedro Martinez reacted throughout last night's game with mm -hmm. the home plate umpire Dana DeMuth. In fact at one point I think any other situation maybe any other pitcher he would have been ejected for what he did out on the mound with the gestures he made to DeMuth. But I think Dana fearing riot here at Fenway Park in this kind of a setting. In this kind of a series didn't want to eject a guy like Pedro Martinez and to Demuth's credit he was very very patient what happened after that was even that's on the inside corner and Ramirez falls victim to a pitch that might have been a little bit off the inside part of the plate two out Messina threading the needle Inside, you can see Flaherty setting up inside, and that ball was a strike. Sometimes a catcher will catch the ball just off the plate, but the movement, sometimes a pitcher will hit the, the front corner, and a catcher catches it two or three inches off. Are they that good? Yes, they are. Two out, nobody on, and now it's Millar. Career high in home runs with 17, and Messina gets it by him. Strike one. Here's the end of the sequence with Pedro Martinez to Dana DeMuth, a longtime big league umpire. He says that's enough. At one point, Pedro took his glove off his hand. He said, Here, you pitch. Yeah. You try it. Saying you're squeezing me everywhere up, down, east, and west. 0 oh, and 2 on Millar. It is highly unusual when, you, as you said earlier, two guys with marvelous control. David Wells had walked. Only six coming in. He walked five. Pedro walked four last night. Unheard of. Here's an 0-2 pitch, and that's a base hit into left center field. Williams over to cut it off, and Millar keeps this first inning alive. By the way, I am not even sure that we will see David Wells on the Yankee bench today. Maybe, but he is in some pain. We were going down to the dugouts when the Yankee bus unloaded today and uh, walking alongside David. David saying the left side of his uh, 
uh, lower back, his sciatic nerve acting up on him. He stayed inside, had treatment from Gene Monahan, and didn't come out to loosen up with the team. Joe Torrey saying he's not sure whether he'll miss his next start or not, but he is in some pain right now. Trod Nixon now having a great year. Goes the opposite way into left field. Back is Matsui. It is off the green monster. Millar is running around third. They'll bring him to the plate. It's 3-0 Red Sox in the first. Throw down to second and out is Nixon as Robin Ventura made the throw to Soriano to end the inning. But the run scored before the out at second. And it's a three-run first inning for the Boston Red Sox. They put up three on Mike Messina. The biggest swing, the home run by Garcia Parra. Three up in Boston after one. Sixteen million people will come to WebMD this month. Some will learn about a condition or a diagnosis. Others will chat with experts. Many will simply decide when to visit a doctor. We'll help them all to navigate WebMD's wealth of medically reviewed information to find exactly what they need. Americans may have thousands of different questions about their health, but now they have a single place to find the answers. Imagine cruising in your brand new Kia Spectra. You got the tunes cranked, the controls at your fingertips, and cash in your pocket. And with a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty, you're not worried about a thing. Just driving and taking in that new car smell. You know, the real kind. Not that stuff that comes in a bottle. The Kia Spectra, loaded with features for thousands less than a Civic. Imagine that. Now get the Kia Spectra starting at $8,235 after $4,000 cash back. When it comes to athlete's foot, this is the latest. This isn't. Lotrimin Ultra, the latest prescription strength medicine available without a prescription. The latest cure, so ultra powerful. One use a day is all you need. Nothing's proven stronger or faster. Favorite. True to the game. True to his team. True to himself. True to the fans. Truly authentic. Look for this hologram on all Major League Baseball authenticated products and know a Deloitte and Touche representative assures its authenticity. Available from these fine companies. Tony Hawk revolutionized skateboarding and became the king of extreme sports. Beyond the Glory, this weekend on Fox Sports Net. The OC, a new series, premieres Tuesday, August 5th on Fox. Fine rookie season for Hideki Matsui as he leads it off and takes a strike over the inside corner. Let's go back to the final play of the bottom of the first. Matsui, not experienced playing the monster here at Fenway, goes too far under. He's too close to the wall. Had he backed off, then he feels the ball. A stronger arm handles the play. And perhaps, perhaps they get Millar at home. Matsui takes a strike. And to Burkett's credit here in the early going, he has challenged these left-handed hitters over the inside part of the plate. The count's one and two. Good numbers for Matsui. And on the inside corner again, one out. First strikeout for Burkett. That was a good tailing fastball. By John Burkett, right under the hands to get Hideki Matsui. Thinking that ball is going to be inside. A lot of left handers give up on it. I guess the best in baseball, Greg Maddox of the Braves at that pitch. Now it's Nick Johnson. He takes a pitch in the dirt. Yankees happy to have Nick Johnson back. He has missed most of the season. for 61 games with a broken hand as he waits for a 1 0 pitch it's on the outside corner a ball and a strike and the Yankees have to hope that the return of Nick Johnson is a little offensive lift in their lineup as they have also been looking at possible trade partners to help with some of the holes in this Yankee batting order 1 1 pitch two balls and a strike Joe I think Nick Johnson will help the Yankees offensively but perhaps not as much. He will help them defensively too. Not in catching the ball. Jason Giambi can catch the ball. 
but he's a poor thrower thrower Johnson a very good thrower and he showed that last night on that 3-6 double play in the first inning two balls two strikes as Burkett gets it by him upstairs and with one out on deck is Mondesi three and two with Nick Johnson stance you would think that he can't reach the outside pitch but guys who stand far away from the plate like the ball away look how far away Johnson is but he'll curl that right leg when the pitch is on the way he curls it in generally speaking a rule of thumb if you're a catcher as you see a guy standing that far away he likes the ball away he tries to entice you to throw it to him away guys who are on the plate like the ball inside so another three two pitch from Burkett to Nick Johnson with one out and it's strike three call back to back strikeouts for Burkett here in the second. Right now, here's Jeannie Zelasco with a game break. And an NL Central showdown in Houston. The Astros tough to stop out of the gate. Lance Bergman doubles home a run. Houston leads baseball with 97 first inning runs this season, and they lead the Cubs 2 0 top three. Thank you, Jeannie. Juan Cruz getting that start for Chicago. You see the Cardinals three and a half out, the Cubs four and a half out, and I think Jim Hendry has really done a terrific job with adding what the Cubs needed and now we'll see how it all comes together for Chicago in the final two months but to go out and fill three needs with one deal to get a center fielder a leadoff hitter and a third baseman with one trade with the Pittsburgh Pirates the Cubs are a much better club than they were a week ago off speed pitch it's 0 and 2 and John Burkett could strike out the side here in the second Kenny Lofton now roaming center meadow at Wrigley and Aramis Ramirez the third baseman with promise left side Miller kicks it picks it and throws too late Bill Miller has made only eight errors coming into this game and that is number nine I'm Almost 100 percent sure as we wait for the ruling but this is a ball that Miller will tell you he should have gobbled up easily. Yeah that's a big league error right there. Robin Ventura. Ball stayed down on Bill and Karam too far away for him to complete the play and it is a throwing error. I beg your pardon a fielding error on Bill Miller. So one on two out and a chance for Robin Ventura. Robin hitting only 249 with nine home runs and a check on Mondesi who has stolen 17 bases this season. A contract push for Mondesi whose deal expires at the end of this season. Got off to a great start. Joe Torre loves his attitude. Lately hasn't been hitting much. That misses outside ball one to Ventura. Robin Ventura the type of hitter that can hurt a guy like Burkett now, I think everybody knows Robin's bad head speed has slowed down Burkett not a hard thrower but he's the type of pitcher that Ventura should handle well snap throw down to first and Millar saves a low throw from Veritek it's two and zero on Ventura. Three nothing Boston lead. We're in the top of the second, and an error has extended this inning for the Yankees. With Flaherty on deck, that's not close, and it's three and zero. Three balls no strikes Ventura Burkett and strike one the Yankees come in at 63 and 38 the best record in the American League the 
Boston Red Sox the best of the rest the best of the non division leaders two games up on Oakland 60 wins on the season 3 1 pitch to Ventura runner is going it's a strike throw down Mondesi is out and the inning is over Ventura talking to the home plate umpire Marvin Hudson thinking it was ball four Veritek made the throw and Mondesi caught to end the top of the second bottom half coming up three nothing Red Sox. Thanks for letting me bring Fifi. Oh anything for you baby. I'd give you the moon. The stars. And the ultimate love potion. Ice cold but light. Mm. Whoa. For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down. Make it a Bud okay, Light. Don't worry, I got him. I got him. In America, where the burger is king, Burger King is proud to introduce our juiciest, most piled high burger ever. The new Great American Burger. How juicy is it? At least two or three napkins worth. Burger King, come on over. The fire is ready. Push the limits of DVD with Daredevil. See 360 degree views of fight sequences. Explore the many dimensions of Shadow World and discover secret special effects. Take DVD to the limit on Daredevil Tuesday. Designing an all-season tire to outperform performance tires wasn't rocket science. Then again, maybe it was. Pilot Sport AS. Our most advanced Z-rated tire ever. Michelin. Because so much is riding on your tires. Chill out, cash in. Buy four Michelin tires and get a $50 rebate. See your Michelin dealer. Offer ends July 31st. A recent test put motor oils to a punishing comparison involving extreme heat and stress beyond anything a car would ever face. The contestants, Castrol Syntec versus the leading 5W30 conventional oil. Bob, what are the readings on the other car? In the end, under these grueling conditions, Castrol Syntec performed better. Castrol Syntec. Everything else is just motor oil. Fox Saturday Baseball is brought to you by Bud Light for the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down. Make it a Bud Light. We're glad you're with us on Saturday, July 26. The Yankees and the Red Sox, game two of their three-game series. Boston on top, 3-0. And Bill Miller, number two in the American League, hitting 333, takes a strike. Joey you know, talked about how the Yankees ran the bases so well last night. This is not a good play. You're trailing by three runs. It's a 3 1 pitch. Not only being thrown out, but you want Robin Ventura in a situation where he can select what pitch to hammer instead of worrying about the base runner and protecting the base runner. From any angle, that's a bad play. Whether it's Mondesi going on his own or whether Joe Torre sent him. Miller Giambi and Veritek who made that throw the hitters in the second inning for the Red Sox and the Boston Red Sox could have never expected this kind of offensive production from Bill Miller. One of a number of guys in this Boston team offensively putting together career season. And the average, see what it was entering 2002. You've got the home runs, ties his career high, the doubles, the triples. That's on the outside corner, and it is a different strike zone tonight, no doubt, this afternoon, as that's the second strikeout for Messina. And the first out here in the second. Today's Sprint Virtual Manager question. The Yankees hang on to beat the Red Sox again for the division title. What will your reaction be? Ho hum, it happens every year. George bought another one. <laughs> Jump off the Charles River Bridge, or who cares? It's Patriot season. He <laughs> liked that one. <laughs> I did. That one out, good. nobody on, and Giambi <laughs> fouls one back toward us. So Tim McCarver, who's beside himself I'm after beside the you. the uh, the options given there, will now. Type in his answer, and it was uh, 
Well, I was glad uh, to set up your voicemail last week and receive the yes, you did. 64 messages that people it's, have left you over the past two you're months. You're telling me a lot about my cell phone that I didn't know. <laughs> That's foul in the count on two on Jeremy Giambi. You're like a private secretary. I am. Here. And what's your answering machine say back at home? <laughs> Hello, I'm not here, obviously. <laughs> Leave a message and I'll call you back. No balls, two strikes. Hey, hi. Giambi checks his swing. I, I never wanted to be one of those guys who just sat by the message machine and listened to who was calling before they decided to pick it up. But it's like if, you if the phone rings, pick it up and answer it and say hello. I mean, it's not that tough. Instead of being discriminatory about who's calling. Caller ID is the second greatest invention since electricity. <laughs> One two pitch, two balls, two strikes. I'm not sure electricity was founded when this city was built. The city, Boston, became a city in 1822. Electricity wasn't around then, was it? I, I don't, don't think so. Do that to me. I don't. <laughs> I'm going to say no, but I'm going to say no also. 2-2 two -two pitch. Giambi tried to hold up, could not. Back-to-back -back strikeouts now for Messina to start the second inning. Two out, nobody on, and Veritek is coming up for Boston against Messina. Messina has come out and made just perfect pitches on first Bill Miller, and now you think about that ball starting around the letters, ending up at the knees to get Jeremy Giambi. Nasty. So with two out, here's Veritek, who is a career nothing hitter against Messina. Only two out of 33, and he's not alone in this Red Sox lineup, but this year is different. This Boston team is an exciting group to watch, and they're also going to be interesting to watch as we all approach the trading deadline and then get into the early part of August when deals can still be made as long as players clear waivers, and that, I would imagine, will happen quite a few times even after the end of this month. There are the numbers for Veritek against Messina. To me, if this Boston team comes up with one more solid frontline starter, and that's easier said than done, this team will give the Yankees and any team in the American League all they can handle throughout this regular season and into October. Two balls and a strike on Veritek. They're a resilient team. For a thrilling team to watch and for Joe Torre it's been playing keep away so far at the beginning part of the season with this Yankee club there are a lot of lesser teams talking about the Red Sox that would have folded the tent with the types of losses that they've suffered this year excruciating losses and yet they continue to bounce back tough loss last night trying to bounce back today. 2-2 pitch. That's on the outside corner. And the inning comes to a close. Veritek has a few words for the man he has to sit in front of for the next half inning as Messina strikes out the side. 3-0 Red Sox back after this from your local Fox station. Gonzalez and the D-backs take on Sosa and the Cubs. Fox Saturday Baseball next week. Introducing Bank of America's new Mini Visa Credit Card. Is that really a credit card? Oh, hey, that's a cute card. Yeah, thanks. It's really small. Keep bothering. Really easy. Wow, what a great little card. And really secure with total security protection. Qué bonita tarjeta. So now, when you get our card for your wallet, there's a mini card for your keychain. What a great little card. Only from Bank of America. Higher standards. The all-new 265-horsepower Nissan Maxima.
Why count on Verizon Business DSL? The meeting's been pushed up to now. We're ready. But they just emailed the spreadsheet. They're here. But they just added more pictures. They were downloaded. But really? Verizon Business DSL delivers the connection that's made for your business and support you can count on. Order now for a special rebate on Verizon Business DSL. Just call 1-888-4033-DSL today. Hey, we just look great. Mm-hmm. Verizon. Make progress every day. I've got the world on a string Sitting on a rainbow I've got that string around my little finger What a world, what a life Ooh, I'm in love The Mercedes-Benz Summer Event is going on right now. It's an event worth remembering. Visit your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. 2.9% financing is available for a limited time on all new 2003 C-Class models. From Fenway to Yankee Stadium, see how two extreme fans build backyard ballpark tonight at 10. It's the top of the third inning. It's 3-0 Boston as it will be Ventura, Flaherty, and Soriano. Grady Little has been the man in charge of this Red Sox team. A guy who early in this season didn't know what to expect every time he went to the bullpen and that Red Sox bullpen has been fantastic over the past month as Millar almost handcuffed Burkett going to the bag John with a nice play one out. A catcher, number seven, That'll bring in Flaherty. John Flaherty. So there is Grady Little. It was a player manager in the Yankee organization back in the early 70s. There's Flaherty. Hitting 254, backing up Jorge Posada. He's hit two home runs in his career against Burkett, five out of 11, and that's why he's in the lineup. That and the day game after the night game thing. Strike one. Off speed pitch is hammered down into the left field corner, and Flaherty will. Dig for second and make it with a one out stand up double. Boy, it was almost like Burkett just pushed that ball to the plate and Flaherty was waiting for a high changeup. That, that's an interesting description because that's exactly what it appeared to be. A real hanger in the middle of the plate about belt high, a pitch that you can hit off your front foot. If your hands are back, you can be fooled on the pitch. Nobody was better able to do that than Stan Musial. Number six with the Cardinals. The best front foot hitter in the history of the game. He was John, good, John Flaherty good. showing you how, how he does it. It's a breaking ball. I said change up, but it just a high pitch that stayed up there. And now Soriano, who doubled his first time up and then was stranded. RBI situation, and he fouls it out of play, strike one. What happens on a pitch like that, Joe, the speed of the pitch fools the hitter. And naturally, the weight shift's going to be on that front foot. Watch how Flaherty is fooled on the pitch. But his bat stays back, and he's able to supply his own power. That's a front foot double right there. Strike one on Soriano with a runner in scoring position. And one out here in the third inning. Uh, front foot off balance swing and a foul into the glove of Villar for the second out of the inning. And with two out, Flaherty at second. The batter will be Delicious. Jeter next week on Fox Saturday Baseball. The Cardinals will try to keep pace in the NL Central as they take on the match of the Giants battle the Reds. Also, the Dodgers try to gain ground in the race for the wild card when they square off against the Braves. The Diamondbacks battle the Cubs. It all begins next week with This Week in Baseball at 12.30 Eastern, 11.30 a.m. Central here on Fox. Now it's up to Jeter. Derek flying to left his first time up. So here we are with a runner at second and more communication trouble between Veritek and Burkett. Worrying about sign stealing out at second base, and I know we've talked about this before. There are some hitters 
who even if the runner at second base was 100 percent sure they had the signs wouldn't want it uh -uh. wouldn't want it relayed to them at the plate after watching the sequence from the catcher that's to the shortstop Garcia Parra gets a high hop and Burkett is through three shutout innings gets around another double and the Yankees strand their second it'll be the top of the order for Boston in the third up by three now Gillette presents the Mach 3 Turbo Hoshade Play of the Week coming out is Hunter he dies he makes a spectacular catch and the game is over holy Toledo what a finish everybody in the Metrodome on his heads or her This cliche play of the week brought to you by Gillette's Mach 3 Turbo. Tune in each week to Fox Saturday Baseball. Something incredible is happening to guys everywhere. They're defying gravity. Mach 3 Turbo. Total comfort whether you shave down or up. An anti-friction coating on all three blades. Plus a strip with more lubrication. So even against the grain, you get less irritation and the closest shave. Can your razor do this? Unbelievable. Mach 3 Turbo. From Gillette, the best a man can get. Now win a VIP trip to a World Series game. See special Mach 3 Turbo packs. In America, all people are created equal, but not all burgers. We're proud to introduce our juiciest, most pile-high burger ever. The new Great American Burger. How juicy is it? At least two or three napkins worth. The new Great American Burger from Burger King. Come on over. The fire is ready. Have you been in an accident of any kind? Any stalling, sputtering, that kind of thing? Carfax has the history of the car you're looking at. Get a Carfax report from your dealer, or go to Carfax.com and get the truth about used cars. Okay, sweetie. Bye-bye. Can you check on my flesh, please? Sure. Call team. Now at Radio Shack, find great deals on full-featured wireless phones, like this Samsung A500 PCS Vision phone from Sprint with full-color screen. Just $49.99 with two-year agreement after $150 in instant savings. How do you always have the answers to everybody's questions? Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. Top of the order for Boston in the third inning. Three nothing Red Sox have out hit the Yankees three two but then you can see that one error in the game it belongs to Bill Miller and a strike he is over the outside part of the plate to Johnny Damon who walked stole a base and scored on the Garcia Parra home run in the first. One ball one strike. We have some dates for you, Tim, with okay. regard to electricity. Look at you, Yes. <laughs> one one pitch. Forgot about uh, Benjamin Franklin with the kite. But you can never say when was electricity invented. Electricity was always around. It was well, yeah. when it when was it harnessed for commercial use? Yes, yes. Yes, that's better. That's a that's a better question. 1878, the light bulb. Okay, Thomas Edison. Yes. <laughs> we're, we're really wading into dangerous territory. All right. We've been there before. That's we're right. experienced in it. Telephone, 1876. The Telegraph, 1844. Hmm. When so was cable invented? <laughs> there was always cable. It just took somebody to harness it. Somebody like Ted Turner, who had a vision. <laughs> so when this city became a city, that was before the telegraph before the telephone obviously and before the light bulb in 1822 look at that baby and obviously huh? before that ah uh, it's like we're this like we're at nasa huh huh dishes like satellite in, dish dishes in 1822 were made of pottery <laughs> one ball two strikes and not nearly that big damon walker garcia para <laughs> oh, yeesh. Oh, why? Not that. I just, just the overall. Yeah. Damon hitting 268. Red Sox hoping that Johnny can pick it up at the top of this order. They can get him going. Imagine what it'll do for the middle of this lineup that just doesn't miss pitches to hit. 
Changeup. And low. Two and two. That was that three fingered grip from Mike Messina. The knuckle curve he actually holds with the fingertips. But right here, you can see that middle finger. The farther back in the hand the pitcher holds the ball, the slower it's going to go to home plate. Now it's three and two as Damon, who did this in the first inning, got behind early in the count, worked it full, and then drew a walk. Three balls, two strikes. And he's done it again. Another good at bat by Johnny Damon just trying to get on base doing his job and that's the second walk handed out by Messina. Our Radio Shack trivia question Yankee reliever Jesse Orozco made his major league debut on April 5 1979. Who was his manager. I know you know the answer to that. Yeah I do. And I would say most do having read the articles that were associated with that deal made as Damon draws a throw one interesting sidelight to that deal is now Don Zimmer has someone to hang out with on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going tonight Jesse. <laughs> Zim would like that. That's rather close because Damon had a huge lead. As Walker waits for the first pitch hitting 285. That distinctive bow when stretching to all runners close. Damon is running chance for Flaherty and Damon is out for the first out of the inning. Perfect pitch to handle for Flaherty and he did not miss his chance. Gosh you talk about a quick release and a great throw by John Flaherty. A good jump by Damon. He went in head first. The last time he goes in feet first this time. Quick tag applied by Derek Jeter to get Damon for only the third time this year. Has 20 steals been caught three times and Walker pops it up. Shallow left center Bernie Williams. Two up. Here is our Radio Shack trivia question and answer. Jesse Orozco made his major league debut on April 5, 1979. Who was his manager? Joe Torre with the New York Mets. Orozco, by the way, pitched a third of an inning. No hits or strikeouts in opening day at Chicago. Retired Bill Buckner. Huh. And he's been retiring left handed batters like Buckner for decades. With two out, nobody on. Here's Garcia Parra, who's homered. Strike one. Back in the first inning with Damon at second and one out. That made it 2 nothing, and Messina, by that reaction, knew it right away. We talked about Nomar celebrating his 30th birthday on Wednesday and in attendance his fiance Mia Hamm quite a soccer player. No balls two strikes. Last year went crazy on his birthday number 29 this year's 30th birthday was 0 for 4. But he's homer today and is a lifetime. 354 hitter against the Yankees here at Fenway Park coming into this game. 0 2 pitch from Messina. Ball one. Shares his birthday with Don Drysdale, Pee Wee Reese, and baseball legend Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> two of the three in the Hall of Fame. To the shortstop. That's Jeter on two hops. The inning is over. A leadoff walk, a man out stealing. Time for a nap. We go to the fourth inning. Yankees coming to the plate, down by three. When you hit the brakes, a whole lot of things have to go just right. 
It's the same with brake repair. That's why you can count on Midas, America's trusted leader in brakes. Right now, get $20 instant savings on any brake service from Midas, even on Midas's famous lifetime brake pads and shoes, the last set of pads or shoes you'll ever buy. That's $20 instant savings right now from the auto service experts, Midas. Should I play it safe or go for it? I'd say either way, Annika. KFC Honey Barbecue Wings or new boneless wings. You can beat it with the ladies and the men. Do both. One great taste, two great choices. New KFC boneless wings with whole pieces of 100% breast meat glazed with our honey barbecue sauce or honey barbecue wings with the same great flavor all the way to the bone. Now get seven for $2.99 or 20 for $7.99. Now everyone can do both. Think I could make it on the woman's circuit? No. Yes! Hey, yo! Come on. Two out of three. I don't think so. Hey! Who pay, Bruce? Saturday baseball is brought to you by GMC. We are professional grade. And by Castrol Syntac. Everything else is just motor oil. We move to the fourth inning, 3 0 Boston. Three runs in the first, RBIs by Garcia Parra and Trot Nixon. And for Burkett, he has struck out two. The Yankees have stranded two and lost a man on the bases. Here's Giambi. Takes inside ball one. Jason whiffed three times last night. Bernie Williams will follow and then Hideki Matsui. 1 0 pitch, 2 0. Remember the first time Giambi was up, the first three pitches were inside. But now Burkett has fallen behind 2 0. You try to jam a hitter. Two balls and no strikes. That's not a good time to jam him. And a big rip and a foul by Giambi. You can see Baratek coming back inside. There's obviously a concerted effort on the part of Baratek and Burkett to work these left-handed hitters inside and not pitch timidly to these Yankee hitters. Mm -hmm. Two balls and a strike. Back in there. And not getting the call, it's three and one. We have seen the fastball hit 83 84. That's about it from Burkett. Giambi with 28 home runs on the season. Full count. And a dangerous foul ball into these seats at Fenway. straight pitches inside to Jason Giambi. League leader in walks waits for a 3 2 pitch from Burkett. And that is the 85th time that Giambi has drawn a free pass. Six pitches all inside to Giambi. Count them. One. Like Sesame Street again. Two. That one missed in. Now 3-2 pitch, very close, but clearly inside. So the leadoff man is on for New York for the second time this afternoon, and here is Bernie Williams. Bernie grounded out with a runner at third and two out in the first. Scooped up by Baratek, ball one. Hit sequences on Sesame Street usually come from Oscar the Grouch. Oscar or the Count. 
One and zero on Williams. Three out of six in this series. Red Sox start the day three and a half games out in the AL East. That's into left field. Manny Ramirez, one on, one out. Bernie Williams picks up his own bat and takes it back to the dugout. 0 for 2, and here comes Hideki Matsui. Got a visit before the game from a couple of police officers from Salem. Matt Desmond and Mike Shea want to say hi to Marine Staff Sergeant Kevin Gillen. He served in Iraq and is coming home from Camp Pendleton soon. And Lieutenant Chris Reedy, a naval aviator who is home on leave after a tour in Afghanistan. We get a lot of those notes and are happy to pass them along when we get the opportunity. One on one out. Here is Matsui who struck out his first time. Bad misses low and away. And still holding Giambi on at first base. Brady Little elected to do that. With Bernie Williams hitting and now another left hander. A guy like Matsui who hits a lot of ground balls to the right side. Giambi has only attempted one steal this season and that the way you say that leads me down the path of asking you do you think they should hold against Jason Giambi at first. No. I think it's pretty clear right here particularly with Giambi on at first base Yankees trailing by three. You could play back into the position where that little dirt is right there that and I'll guarantee you Giambi would not try to run knowing you're back there. But the old automatic hold on employed by the Red Sox two balls and a strike on Matsui who has hit 10 home runs this season and right at Millar boy they had him in a perfect spot and a 3 6 3 inning ending double play kids it's all about defensive positioning in this game perfect. and the Boston Red Sox with a clear example of why they are so good. Hi, I'm John Stamos. So I'm watching TV last night, and I hear something familiar. It's my voice, and I see myself on TV doing the 10, 10, 9, 8, 7 commercials. So I go to the phone. I do what the commercial. I do what I tell myself. I call 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 1, my mom's number. Instantly, I'm connected. She complains to me for 15 minutes because I don't call her enough. So call your mother and get nagged at. Three cents a minute, uh, 39 cents to connect, and then it automatically comes on your regular phone bill. There's no monthly fee, nothing to sign up for, none of that stuff. Do it. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, call your mom. My mother is going to kill me if she sees this. <laughs> In America, where the burger is king, Burger King is proud to introduce our juiciest, most piled-high burger ever, the new Great American Burger. How juicy is it? At least two or three napkins worth. Burger King, come on over. The fire is ready. When it comes to athlete's foot, this is the latest. This isn't. Lotrimin Ultra, the latest prescription strength medicine available without a prescription. The latest cure, so ultra powerful, one use a day is all you need. Nothing's proven stronger or faster. Lotrimin Ultra. I've made a lot of news on the baseball diamond, but if you want to find out about this diamond, you've got to go talk to your doctor. Ready to try Viagra for the first time? See your doctor and find out if a free sample is right for you. My doctor says it's right for me. That's why I stay with it. For more information, go to Viagra.com. What happened here? She's playing some one-on-one, -on -one, got a little rough. Let's get him out. Oh, I don't want you to do anything yet. I just want to see your price and some of the prices of your competitors. What? Hey, come on, guys. I just want to get the best deal. You know? Hey! Our customers know the importance of shopping around. Because at Progressive.com, you can get our price for car insurance, plus the rates of other big-name companies. You could save hundreds. Check out Progressive today. Sometimes comedy isn't pretty. This is one of those times. I just hope I don't end up like you, 50 and angry. I'm 37! Damn, Cookie, you gotta moisturize! Louie, a new comedy coming this fall to Fox. 3-0 Boston, bottom of the fourth inning, and Manny Ramirez first up for the Red Sox. 
First pitch swinging, and that's down the right field line. It's trouble. If it's fair, it might go. It is gone, and a home run for Ramirez. Right around pesky pole down the right side, and it's 4-0 Boston here in the fourth. Hit in a spot for a home run unlike any other across Major League Baseball, slicing it down the right field line. Ramirez hits his 25th of the year. Because he sliced it, I didn't think that ball was going to stay fair. When the ball gets above the roof here at Fenway, the wind can do some damage. It tried to go foul, but to the Red Sox benefit, it stayed fair. I didn't think that ball was going to stay fair. Here's another one down in that area, but a chance for Mondesi in and to his left for the first out of the inning. A typical foul ball and then you see the eyebrows start to raise because yeah. you realize you're in Fenway Park and it's a different story. See that body English of Manny Ramirez trying to keep it fair and he did. <laughs> nice smile from the native of New York Manny Ramirez who Sits down after his 25th of the year, and now with a four run lead, Trot Nixon takes a strike. Manny growing up in Washington Heights within five or six miles of Yankee Stadium. And year after year after year, he puts up big numbers, whether it's with the Cleveland Indians or with the Boston Red Sox. One of only five players. To hit 300 or better, hit 30 or more home runs, and drive in 100 or more runs over the last four years. Barry Bonds has made the statement that he was born to hit, and who could refute that? But certainly Manny Ramirez, born to hit. With one out, a 1 1 pitch to Nixon, who has an RBI double. And this is 2 and 1. Nixon stepped to the plate back in the first inning with the sixth best average in the American League. They have top 10 players in categories all over the American League offensive charts. Nixon is on there. He's one out of two as he grounds out to Johnson. And we look at Bernie Williams and we hear some of Bernie's music which was just recently released as we have our Pepsi fan camp here in the fourth inning at Fenway. Pick it, Bernie. Miller to Bernie Williams. Da -na 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 -na. He can pick it. The journey within. La Salsa and Me. That's the name of this title. Another run for the Red Sox. They lead by four. Let's say this is you. Yeah, you're the king. But being the king isn't always easy. So, when you're with Allstate, you'll have over 50,000 professionals to help protect you. From claims adjusters who can help you fix a broken castle to emergency assistance to ride your rescue to lawyers that go to court with you if you need them and your all-state agent who knows the moves to help you helping you the king feel protected just one more way you're in good hands with all-state hey dad this computer would be perfect for school yeah but this one would be a lot easier for you to you know bring home every weekend it's that time again and Circuit City is the place to save on all your back-to-school gear. Right now, you'll save $250 on this awesome notebook computer from HP with a DVD player and CD burner. Now just $899.99 after instant and mail-in rebates. Circuit City, we're with you. Since I missed the opportunity to own a 100th anniversary Harley-Davidson, I will travel back in time in my time machine and get one. Am I still here? 
There's still time to own a 100th anniversary Harley Davidson motorcycle, but it's now or never. Visit your dealer today. Cow. The OC, a new series, premieres Tuesday, August 5th on Fox. I'm so sick of our parents controlling our lives. Nick Johnson first up for the Yankees here in the fifth inning. Raul Mondesi and Robin Ventura will follow. And there's a strike from Burkett. So Burkett has been aggressive. He's walked one. He struck out two. He has allowed only two hits. Staying inside on a left-handed batter in the count one and one. Don't know how this game is going to unfold for John Burkett and the Red Sox, but John appears to be pitching with a great deal of resolve out there. One one pitch. Too tight. And, and judging from John's quotes the last couple of days, he was a bit miffed that uh, it has been printed by sports writers in the area that uh, the Red Sox are trying to make a deal for a starting pitcher. And, two and, two. Uh, and in the process, get rid of maybe move John Burkett back. I can understand his. Uh, I don't know if it was anger as much as it was uh, frustration. Great frustration, refuting the fact that, uh, hey, a big league starting pitcher, and he's done a fine job for the Red Sox. Wonder what he thinks of Fox broadcasters who come in and say <laughs> that the Red Sox should deal for a frontline starter. Well, I mean, you know, nobody can have too much pitching. I think John's point was not at the expense of me. Missing inside, it's a full count. Johnson struck out his first time. That is a foul ball. Theo Epstein has tinkered with this bullpen acquiring Kim who initially was brought here as a starter then shifting him out to the bullpen there is Theo or is that his twin brother no that's Theo and then getting Sauerbeck which I thought was interesting for a number of reasons as a leadoff walk is handed to Nick Johnson. This fall, the NFL returns to Fox as Bill Parcells comes to Dallas to return the Cowboys to glory. And Mike Vick and Donovan McNabb battle for the title of best quarterback in the league. The biggest stories in the NFL are in the NFC, and the NFC is on Fox returning September 7th. I think people in this area can understand Bill Parcells coming to a new team and turning it to prominence. That's right. That's what the... Group down in Dallas led by Jerry Jones. Hopes will happen with the Dallas Cowboys as Mondesi bats with one on and nobody out. 4 nothing Boston and a pitch up and in. I thought the Sauerbeck deal was interesting because A, it makes the Red Sox much more dangerous in the late innings against that one key left-handed hitter. They got him leading into this weekend series against the Yankees. And they got him instead of the Yankees getting him from the Pittsburgh Pirates as Mondesi hits one in the air to left and that'll play for Ramirez. Last year the Red Sox did it to New York Tim when they got Cliff Floyd and the Yankees were reportedly interested in him but it speaks to the depth in the organization and with some of the younger pitchers that the Red Sox had to deal. Lyon was the big part of it and we understand he is injured and there are some questions as to that deal. He's got water on him. Manny Ramirez in his back pocket. That's interesting. But the Yankees were trying to add to their bullpen and right after they got Sauerbeck the Yankees turned around and got Jesse Orozco after getting Armando Benitez. See what Benitez has done and he was a big part of the victory last night for the Yankees as was Orozco. Picking up two key outs. Oh, one pitch, Ventura. He's jammed, and that's into left field for the man with water in his pocket. Two out. That is uh, odd because 
Only because, I mean, think about when he's going to have time to drink some. That's one and one the count here. I think I'll have a little swig of water. Nah, there's no way the ball's going to be hit to me this pitch. He's recorded the last two outs with water in his pocket. That should not be, I mean, you know, we're kidding about it. That should not be allowed. You can't do that. He's out of uniform. <laughs> one on, two out. Flaherty, who doubled into the left field corner his first time, takes a swipe at that, strike one. You've seen how outfielders a lot of times going after balls, sliding in to make a catch if he goes in. Here's Manny with water in his back pocket. That uh, is not the way to wear a major league uniform. I mean, I could understand the helmet with the two cups on the side and the straws coming down. Yeah. But a bottle of water in your back pocket, come on. What is this, a hike? All one pitch, Flaherty takes a ball. I mean, we understand the need to drink water, but <laughs> come on. <laughs> Bizarre. He's got a compass in his right pocket. <laughs> Never know. <laughs> he needed one last night. <laughs> or needed better eyes to see how many outs there were on the scoreboard. That, that is the strangest sight. I didn't notice it until you said something. Well, I didn't notice it until our camera people showed it. <laughs> one on, two out. And a check swing. Foul ball as Flaherty got a piece of it. Veritek couldn't hang on to it. It's one and two. Theo, do you know you have a left fielder in your lineup with a bottle of water in his pocket? Anyway, just thought I'd leave you this message in the fifth inning. Good luck today against the Yankees. Burkett trying to sail through five. One, two. And a left center field, and Damon glasses down, puts it away. He and Ramirez may share a sip of water on their way back to the dugout as we're halfway through this Saturday game, and the Red Sox lead by four. We're here to learn how to trust our wireless phones, which is hard because we've all been hurt before, haven't we? Johnny? We're accepting that our phones are unreliable, that some features work here and not yeah, over that's there. That's not helping. Try hugging the phone, not choking it. Okay. Sprint is different. All your services work the same wherever you go on the most complete all-digital wireless network in the nation. Like voicemail and email? Even clear calls. I think we just made a breakthrough. PCS from Sprint. Try the nation's most complete wireless network. We want to make sure that you're right for our daughter. Are you safe? Reliable? Carfax has the history of the car you're looking at. Get a Carfax report from your dealer or go to Carfax.com and get the truth about used cars. Don't let anything stop you from satisfying your late night hunger. Taco Bell is open late. Spice up the night. Open till midnight or later. Okay, sweetie. Bye-bye. Can you check on my flight, please? Sure. Call team. Now at Radio Shack, find great deals on full-featured wireless phones, like this Samsung A500 PCS Vision phone from Sprint with full-color screen. Just $49.99 with two-year agreement after $150 in instant savings. How do you always have the answers to everybody's questions? Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. Saturday Baseball is brought to you by Radio Shack, official sponsor of Major League Baseball, by Taco Bell, where you can spice up the night, by Sprint, proudly offering picture mail and PCS Vision picture phones, and by WebMD, the place America comes for health care answers. Halfway through this game, bottom of the fifth inning, and the bottom two in the order coming up for the Red Sox. That means Giambi, Veritek, and then Johnny Damon. 
gets on the outside corner. Strike one to Giambi. Oh, we've seen a bottle of water in the pocket of Manny Ramirez, and now Trot Nixon is eating applesauce out of the cooler down in the dugout. Don't know if that was in his pocket or if they also have PB and J's with the crusts cut off in that cooler as well. There. Spread the blanket, guys. One ball, one strike. Giambi struck out, now shows bunt. Pulls back from ball two. That surprised Ventura. Almost jumped out of his uniform coming in from his third base position. Robin Ventura talking before this game is not a big fan of the infield here at Fenway Park. Thinks it's the toughest in the league as Giambi flies one into right. Didn't get all of it. And Mondesi is back for the first out of the inning. We look at each team's disabled list brought to you by WebMD. Johnson is back. Contreras, they hope, middle of August. Carse has missed the entire season. And for the Red Sox, only Robert Person, and he is starting to get back on the mound. Bad hip for having some arm trouble in years past. And then John Lieber is on there as well. He's missed the entire season, and there's an outside shot that he'll get a chance to pitch for Joe Torrey before the end of this 2003 season, but they really hope to have him in the fold for 2004. Roger Clemens will retire at the end of this year. I think that was a, a very, very good move looking to the future by signing John Lieber and realizing that with proper rehab, the Yankees will have a former 20-game winner pitching in their rotation next year. Messina is one of the few guys locked up they know they can count on beyond this year. Weaver is another, but now you read Weaver's name in trade speculation. Pettit will be a free agent. Here's a 1-1 pitch to Veritek with one out. Up for ball two, two and one. The Boston Red Sox this season have 15 wins and 13 losses in the final at bat of a game. It's amazing, isn't it? Last night the Yankees winning in their final at bat as Veritek went and the count two and two. Dana DeMuth who wasn't calling him on pitches last night behind the plate rings up Veritek on that check swing and it's two balls two strikes. Not close full count. You look at Jason Veritex two at bats this afternoon. You know he's not picking Messina up. He's jumping at the ball. It's one of the worst things a hitter can do. Hitters try to wait and have quick hands. When you jump, said like that bobblehead doll. Eyes, head bobbing up and down. Veritex strikes out for the second time today. That's five on the afternoon for Messina. Two out, nobody on. Back to the top of the order and back to Los Angeles. Here's Jeannie Zelasco with a game break. And a comedy of errors in Houston. That is, of course, unless you're an Astros fan or maybe even Craig Vizio. Oops. Aramis Ramirez stops at third. And then Alex Gonzalez will bring it home courtesy a Jeff Blum error. Cup still show 2-1, Bobby 6. Jeannie, thanks. As Johnny Damon, who's drawn two walks, is started with ball one up and away. Joe, of all the elements in National League ballparks, I think that's the, the most unfair element. There is no way a center fielder can expect to have that little hill that is in straightaway center field at Minute Maid Park down in Houston come up on him all of a sudden. It's just not fair. It should be taken out. It should be leveled. And it shouldn't be there. Damon with a one ball one strike pitch coming his way takes ball two. They call it Tal's Hill for Tal Smith their club president and if they lose a guy like Biggio on a play like that in center field you might find a bulldozer in Minute Maid Park the next afternoon. 
two balls one strike now three and one as Johnny Damon threatens to walk for the third time today a park uh, that comes to mind that had a similar feature was Crosley Field in Cincinnati the old old Crosley Field it went out in 1969 three one pitch another walk to Johnny Damon Messina had walked 22 all season and he's walked Damon three times this afternoon. And we saw nine walks by Wells and Martinez in last night's game, and now four here by Mike Messina this afternoon. Two of the four have scored, by the way. Now here's Todd Walker. Check on Damon. It was the polo grounds, wasn't it, where they kept the batting cage out in center field? Yeah. Uh, Forbes Field in Pittsburgh. Because Forbes Field. They used to keep the batting cage here where that stop and shop sign is, uh, right next to the 420 sign. I don't know whether they still do. I would imagine they do. That's up and away, and it was right out of that opening. That you saw the Red Sox grounds crew wheel out the oh, man. batting cage back in 1967. In 1967, uh, Carl Yastrzemski went 0 for 4 in Game One and took extra hitting after his 163rd game of the year. And the next day, hit two home runs to beat the Cardinals. That even the series at 1-1. Then the Cardinals took the first two at Bush Stadium. Then Jim Lonborg, who had won Game Two, came back. To beat the Cardinals in game five. Red Sox also won game six, and then Bob Gibson and the Cardinals won game seven here at Fenway. Number eight, Yazmataz. What a player. And a good pick by Nick Johnson over at first to save an error and keep Damon out of scoring position here with two out in the inning. We saw that play with Matsui in left field. Stremski is known as the best at dealing with the green monster here at Fenway Park. He was the best. And finished off his career for about the last 10 years playing first base here at Fenway. Four to nothing Boston bottom of the fifth inning. And a one ball one strike count on Todd Walker who's 0 for 2. That's off the end of the bat and should play for Matsui Williams. It is Matsui and the inning is over. A walk, a man left. That is the first man stranded today by the Red Sox after 5 4 0 Boston. You're looking at people getting answers to the most important questions they'll ever ask questions about their own health, their children's, their parents. You're also looking at something that never existed before, a way to make truly informed decisions about everything from when to visit a doctor to what questions to ask when you get there. WebMD. 16 million people come to WebMD every month. They come to learn about a condition or a diagnosis, to check prescriptions for interactions, to chat with experts or each other. We help them navigate our thousands of medically reviewed pages to find exactly what they need. Information that used to be scattered in a hundred different locations, now all in one place. The place America comes for healthcare answers. A place called WebMD. When you hit the brakes, a whole lot of things have to go just right. It's the same with brake repair. That's why you can count on Midas, America's trusted leader in brakes. Right now, get $20 instant savings on any brake service from Midas, even on Midas' famous lifetime brake pads and shoes, the last set of pads or shoes you'll ever buy. That's $20 instant savings right now from the auto service experts, Midas. In America, where the burger is king, Burger King is proud to introduce our juiciest, most piled-high burger ever, the new Great American Burger. How juicy is it? At least two or three napkins worth. Burger King, come on over. The fire is ready. 
There are ordinary disposable razors, but now there's new Sensor 3 from Gillette. Totally new handle, three blades on springs that adjust to your face. No disposable shapes better. It could be the best disposable you ever threw away. New Gillette Sensor 3. Starting August 8th, Fox is moving Wanda to a new night. And she'd like to thank the network executive who made it all possible. Wait for it. Don't mess with Wanda. Fridays at 8.30 starting August 8th on Fox. It is still 4-0 Boston as we go to the sixth inning. Alfonso Soriano, top of the order for the Yankees. Jeter and Giambi will follow against Burkett, who's been terrific. Ball one low and away. Still only two hits allowed. A couple of walks. A couple of strikeouts. Soriano has one of the two hits, a double back in the first. Burkett did well to get around it. That's on the inside corner as Soriano has to pull the hands back. It's one and one. They have five innings from Burkett. And it's Embry, the hard throwing left hander, getting ready for Boston in their bullpen in case there's any sign of trouble here in this sixth inning. That is a sign of trouble. A base hit into left field. A rocket hit out there by Soriano. And the leadoff man is on for the Yankees for the third inning in a row and the fourth time today. The shortstop, number two, Derek Jeter. This could be the last hitter for Burkett. Depending on what happens with the lefty Giambi on deck and Embry getting loose in the bullpen. John Burkett has had only two complete games since 1997. And he's done a terrific job, but I think uh, even with the shutout, if Jeter gets on, you could see Embry. Giambi the next hitter. That's a strike on the inside corner. Jeter is fly to left and grounded out. They're comparing the two shortstops, and when you compare the first 444 games played between Garcia Parra and Soriano, Garcia Parra comes out on top. Even with the fast start that Soriano has had to his big league career. If Garcia Parra played in New York, he'd be as big as Jeter. Who hit 370 one year? Yeah. Won batting titles in 99 and 2000. You compare Soriano and Garcia Parra. 444 career games at the start of their career. Nomar hit 320. Soriano 282. Nomar 92 home runs. Soriano 84. And almost 100 more RBIs for Garcia Parra, but hitting in a different spot in the lineup as the count goes to 0 and 2 on Derek Jeter, who thought that was inside and lodges a complaint with Marvin Hudson, the home plate umpire. Close. No balls, two strikes. On the outside corner, one away. And Jeter talks to Hudson again. Only a handful of times in a season will you see Derek Jeter take one call strike in an at bat to take two consecutively, highly unusual. One inside, and this one outside. That last pitch, even better than the one before it, is that ball tailed a ton back over the outside corner. It did. Now it's Giambi, runner at first with one out. And strike one, Giambi is 0 for 1 with a walk. When you see Burkett working to Giambi, through threw six pitches inside his last at bat. Three the first at bat starts him off with the inside fastball with a man on first base. You get the feeling that Burkett wants Giambi to get himself in the hole by pulling the ball foul. Or at least that's the way he's pitching him. Pedro okay. Martinez struck him out three times last night. Soriano. In case you're wondering and 
I think it's well I won't say unlikely but running in this situation you would scratch your head with a guy like Giambi at the plate down by four mm -hmm. number two in the league is Soriano with 27 steals yet Burkett is keeping him close over at first and the Yankees trail by four we saw the result of that in the second inning when Mondesi ran on a three one count was thrown out sometimes managers will allow a runner to run and, and put the hold sign up for some young runners like Soriano. Well, that was close. Late tag applied by Millar. The throw was low. A runner at first base can get a little farther off with the right handed throwing first baseman because he has to come across his body to make the tag. That's an extra half step. All one to Giambi one of the rare deliveries outside and trying to keep Soriano on his toes Veritek throws behind him on deck is Bernie Williams this Yankee team comes in ninth in the American League hitting 268 pitching their fifth with an ERA as a group at over four four point oh six. Defensively, they're 11th in the American League. It has a group they have the best record in the AL as Giambi takes ball two. And that's why you cannot overestimate or underline enough the presence of Mariano Rivera in that bullpen for the New York Yankees. Absolutely. He is such a difference maker at the end of a ball game. had trouble getting to Mariano Rivera Rivera has had to come in in the eighth inning Joe Torre trying to avoid that couldn't do it last night by calling on Rivera in the eighth Veritek got a big base hit to tie the game but Kim gave up a run in the top of the ninth it's out of play yeah, of course the Yankees have a long way to go they trail by four here in the sixth inning but we did talk to Joe Torre and asked Joe if Rivera would be available since he threw 40 pitches last night. Joe said, I don't know yet. This was about 1130 this morning, an hour and a half before game time. I'm sure he had to talk to Rivera, ask him how he felt, but I would be shocked if he brought him in in the eighth inning this afternoon. Maybe the ninth inning, but not the eighth. Two balls, two strikes on Giambi. Runner at first, one out. Four to nothing, Boston in the sixth. That's too far outside. Three and two. Oohs and ahs from the faithful here at Fenway, but that ball was outside. Boy, he's made some pitches today. Three two delivery runner goes on ball four and it's two on with one out and now a decision Bernie Williams coming up 0 for two today but 12 out of 20 in his career against Burkett and Brady Little almost like saying I don't want to do it but we'll see jogs out to the mound with Embry ready in the bullpen. So three walks on the afternoon for Burkett. And I don't know if Grady Little had his mind made up before he left the dugout. I'm not uh, sure either, Joe. Usually if a manager jogs to the, to the mound, he's not sure. And that was the case there. He probably asked Burkett, the old, how do you feel? That's uh, perhaps the most frequent asked question from a manager to a pitcher on the mound. How do you feel? Our game summary is brought to you by GMC professional grade. We're in the sixth inning four nothing Red Sox. Cena has been touched for four earned runs in five innings. Burkett outstanding so far and Garcia Parra two run homer in the first Manny Ramirez a solo shot in the fourth. 
First two times up, Burkett has gotten Bernie Williams out with balls. Balls out of the strike zone. This one has popped into shallow center field for Johnny Damon. Two on, two out, and a big out picked up by Burkett. And now it'll be Matt Suey. Bernie Williams, it's, it's hard to get Bernie angry, but he was angry after this swing. A strike to hit, and he gets under it. You don't see Bernie Williams react like that very often. That's it for Burkett. With a switch hitter, Bernie Williams, even with the success Williams has had against Burkett, Grady Little left Burkett in the game. Now it'll be Embry against Matt Suey when we come back. Let's say this is your car. Nice hard top. If you drive safely, meaning you do stuff like obey the speed limit, always check your blind spot, and avoid accidents, hey, watch it, lead foot, then Allstate could reward you with something you'll eat right up. Some green. <laughs> up to 20% off your insurance bill. It's the Allstate Safe Driver Discount. Call today and find out how you're in good hands with Allstate. Hey, this is for the safe driver. Here you go. They're here, and somebody's gonna pay. Ah! You've been spotted. You've won. It's the Aquafina Pure Luck promotion. Get spotted with an Aquafina, and you can win pure cash. This could be your lucky water. Oh, I should have used Preparation H. Cool it fast with new Preparation H cooling gel. Now with vitamin E and aloe. Cools on contact for fast relief. New Preparation H cooling gel with vitamin E and aloe. America, where the burger is king. Burger King is proud to introduce our juiciest, most piled high burger ever. The new Great American Burger. How juicy is it? At least two or three napkins worth. Burger King, come on over. The fire is ready. A recent test put motor oils to a punishing comparison involving extreme heat and stress beyond anything a car would ever face. The contestants, Castrol Syntec versus the leading 5W30 conventional oil. Bob, what are the readings on the other car? In the end, under these grueling conditions, Castrol Syntec performed better. Castrol Syntec. Everything else is just motor oil. I think I could get in less trouble where I'm from. John Burke in the Red Sox should be awfully pleased with the effort he gave today. Five and two thirds, only three hits. The ovation as he walked off, and then tipping his cap to this crowd, which gave him another surge in the ovation as he gives way to the bullpen. And it's Embry, the lefty, to deal with Matsui. Two on with two out. Four nothing Boston, and the fastball is poured in, up and in ball one. Great numbers for Burkett, who is winless in his career. Ten tries against the Yankees. What a proud, proud performance by John Burkett this afternoon. A 1-0 pitch. Doesn't take you long to realize that what Alan Embry brings to the mound is a left-hander who can throw hard. I was thinking the same thing Joe uh, three and one on the year his 41st appearance and a guy who's probably got as good a stuff as a setup man in baseball you won't find too many guys who throw any harder who are just plain nasty any more than Alan Embry Matsui looking for a big two out hit for the Yankees runners are going and a ground ball to second will end the inning. So the runners took off, but Matsui grounded out to Walker. Burkett, an outstanding job today for Boston as they lead by four. If an 80,000-seat stadium can have a retractable roof, if a 60,000-horsepower submarine can run silently, if a two-year-old can have four-wheel steering, why can't you? 
GMC, our engineers don't just ask questions, they have answers. GMC Professional Grade Engineering. It's not more than you need, just more than you're used to. She's dark green, cash back, low intro, and end of the month. He's yellow, travel, everyday rate, and middle of the month. She's purple, travel, low intro, and beginning of the month. Bank One's Personal Platinum. The simple way to choose your rate, your reward, your billing date, even your color. Bank One's Personal Platinum. Issued by us, but created by you. Individual answers. Bank One. We're here to learn how to trust our wireless phones, which is hard because we've all been hurt before, haven't we? Johnny? We're accepting that our phones are unreliable, that some features work here no. and not yeah, over there. That's not helping. Try hugging the phone, not choking it. Okay. Sprint is different. All your services work the same wherever you go on the most complete all-digital wireless network in the nation. Like voicemail and email? Even clear calls. I think we just made a breakthrough. PCS from Sprint. Try the nation's most complete wireless network. Taco Bell's Chicken Caesar Grilled Stuffed Burrito. Loaded with so much tender all-white meat chicken, crisp romaine lettuce, and tangy Caesar dressing, you may get seized by Caesar. To fill up on Caesar salad taste, think outside the bun. When you hit the brakes, a whole lot of things have to go just right. It's the same with brake repair. That's why you can count on Midas. Right now, get $20 instant savings on any brake service from Midas. $20 instant savings on any brake service. Midas. This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Commissioner of Baseball and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without express written consent. Bottom of the sixth inning, and Mike Messina is back to the hill. 4-0 Boston. Only seven hits total in this game. Great work by Burkett. And Messina is trying to keep it a four-run game. Heart of the order for Boston. That means Garcia Parra, Manny Ramirez, and Kevin Millar. Nomar has hit a two-run home run in this game. He is grounded out. Seventy RBIs on the season. The 1-0. -oh. Into center field will send Williams back on the run and over his head. Garcia Parra will dig for two and hold with a stand-up double. Talked about the glare earlier in the ball game. This is not the easiest ballpark in which to track down fly balls. Bernie Williams did not get an immediate jump on the ball hit by Garciaparo. Not a ball that he should have caught, by the way, but a ball perhaps he could have had had he had just another half step. As it was, he missed it by about six inches. You can see right there that hesitation going to his left. Didn't appear that he picked the ball up immediately, and Garciaparo with a double to open the sixth inning. And his numbers this season 12 triples to lead the American League, 30 doubles now. To go with his 16 home runs as Manny Ramirez takes ball one. 329 average. His 25th home run was a slicer down the right field line. Back in the fourth. Just stayed fair and just got out. To third. Ventura looks back, Garcia Parra. One out. So a big out picked up by Messina to keep Garcia Parra at second, and now Millar will step in. First baseman, number 15, Kevin. He's checking Manny's pockets to see if he still had that water. Nope. He doesn't hit with water in his back pocket, but he feels with it. Kind of in a playful mood today is Manny Ramirez. Yes, he is. Notice that. Just hanging out in the park. Much more playful than he normally is. Here is Millar with a runner at second one out ball one from Messina.
Millar has driven in 64 this season. That is hard hit, knocked down by Jeter to save a run. And it's two on with one out on what should be a base hit by Millar as second of the day. Jeter not only saved a run, he saved an advance by Garciaparra also by keeping the ball in the infield. This ball is scalded towards short. A lot of top spin, coupled with the fact that Jeter had the base runner to worry about. That could have obscured his view. But a nice play just keeping that ball within range. It keeps Garciaparra at second. But clearly a base hit and Stottlemyre out to talk to Messina. So it's two on one out. Stottlemyre with a visit. And our sprint virtual manager question if the Yankees hang on to beat the Red Sox again for the division title what will your reaction be. Oh hum it happens every year. George bought another one jump off the Charles River Bridge or who cares. It's Patriots season. And by 6% ho hum it happens every year. That is your answer on the sprint virtual manager question now with Osuna and Hammond getting loose in the bullpen here is Trot Nixon who's one for two. Two on one out Nixon pops it up. Left center field and easy for Bernie Williams. Two on two out. That'll bring Bill Miller to the plate. Mohammed, it, it doesn't happen every year, but the Red Sox have finished second behind the Yankees 12 times since 1938. Now keep in mind they've won in 1946, 67, 75, 86. But they have finished second behind the Yankees 12 times in the last 65 years. Five times in those 12 by five or fewer games yeah. as Miller takes a ball outside. Bill is 0 for 2. He has struck out flight out. You don't even have to dig deep into the history books to understand the frustration between these two teams as Miller takes ball two two and oh. 99 2000 2001 on through this season where the Red Sox start the day three and a half games out of first in the East but two games up on Oakland in the wild card wild card team with the Red Sox in 99 as Miller hits it into left center field Bernie Williams with a diving catch to end the inning what a play by Bernie Williams and even some Red Sox fans have to applaud that effort in left center field. He got a jump on that one, Joe. Saved two runs, keeps it a four-run game. Back after this from your local Fox station. Gonzalez and the D-backs take on Sosa and the Cubs. Fox Saturday Baseball next week. Behind him is a 400 square foot deluxe bachelor with a partial view. In front of him is a junior executive semi-private with no view. But right now, life is perfect. On the open road, in complete control of an Acura RSX. One of car and driver's 10 best. Welcome to the Jeep Summer Sales Drive. You have a great warranty, right? A 770 powertrain limited warranty. So if I drive from Mount McKinley to the Keys, then back to Yosemite. You'll still have 61,339 miles left. Now, have you ever been to Pikes Peak? How far will you go? During the Jeep Summer Sales Drive, very well-qualified buyers can get into a Grand Cherokee for $299 a month with a $999 down payment. Plus, every vehicle comes with our 770 powertrain limited warranty. Hurry to your Jeep dealer today. The adult male dung beetle. The only thing biting here are the flies, Bob.
miles away from other light beers. Corona Light. Starting with me, everything in this place is mean and miserable. Is that a tear in your eye, Private? Do you want your mommy? Are you going to cry? I'll kick the tradition and chivalry out of you. I suggest you shut your mouth. I can't hear you. Nothing is over until we decide it is. Just one more thing. Don't ever make me mad. Sweet dreams, ladies. Trade left, right left. Ha! From Fenway to Yankee Stadium, see how two extreme fans build backyard ballpark tonight at 10. It'll be Nick Johnson, Raul Mondesi, and Robin Ventura. The scheduled hitters in this seventh inning for the Yankees. Embry finished off the sixth. And Johnson up there hacking strike one. Matsui hit a sharp ground ball to the second baseman to end the six with two on. And the pitching between Burkett and Embry has been very strong this afternoon. More action for the Red Sox out in their bullpen as Todd Jones gets loose. No one pitch. One ball, one strike. You can email the booth. And in the truck, they have selected. Hey Joe, isn't it a bit early for a playoff beard from Brock in Manitoba, Canada? Grown this beard to break up the monotony of my face. <laughs> the one-one pitch. Johnson fouls it back and out of play. 95 miles per hour. One and two. The monotony of your face. I've never heard that as a reason for growing a beard. It's just monotonous getting up every day looking at this face it's something different surprising you don't really remember it's there and then hey whoa one ball two strikes Nick Johnson trying to get something going for the Yankees in the seventh. Oh nearly clipped by that pitch up and in two and two. Hey guys, Manhattan or New England chowder? It's from Cliff. Foxsports.com. You can email us in the booth. My answer: that's one, easy. One with tomato, one with cream. I go tomato. That's into right field, hit on a line, but right at Nixon, one out. I don't. I think the Red Red Sox can catch the Yankees this year. I really do. Was that? You responding to the email with well, the chowder? Yeah. I, th I thought that uh, I thought that question was symbolic. Oh, not necessarily our taste. Comparing Manhattan chowder. to New England. Yeah, Who's I think better? so. I, I, I don't was, know. I was just answering it. No, oh. seriously. I, I really do. I think the Red Sox this year are are more capable of catching the Yankees than in years past. I think the Yankees have problems that they haven't had in years past. With one out, as you look at the standings, a strike. As far as, real, as far as the real chowder is concerned, I agree with you. I, I prefer the. I mean, if you can also. avoid going to the cream-based soup, yes, right. I think More uh, cholesterol. Most people would be advised to go away from the cream. However, the the but clams are, the clams are much better up here. However, sure. Steam one ball, is. one strike. With one out, nobody on. Mondesi is 0 for 2. He reached on an error back in the second. The Yankees down by three and then was thrown out trying to steal on a 3 1 pitch to Ventura. Best chance for the Yankees today came last inning. Strike two on Mondesi. Lead off hit by Soriano. A one out walk handed to Giambi. Brady Little stayed with Burkett. Burkett rewarded his confidence by getting Bernie Williams on a fly ball to center, and then Embry got Matsui to end the inning. Two and two. Embry ought to be thrilled with the addition of Sauerbeck in the Boston Red Sox bullpen to get some help. It also frees up, I would imagine, a guy like Embry to get more work where Grady Little doesn't have to save him for that one left-handed hitter. That's a good point. That's into right center field, a base hit, one on, one out as Mondesi reaches for the second time today. 
This week's clutch performance brought to you by Viagra is from Monday night's Cardinals Padres game. Bottom of the 10th inning. San Diego's Miguel Ojeda. It's the first game winning home run of his career and the Padres get a 5 4 win. It was just San Diego's fifth win in the last 34 games against St. Louis. Now that's clutch. And that replay at the end reminds you that it doesn't matter how many games out of first place you are a game winning home run leads to that bounce up and down at home plate. Padres 27 and a half games out in the NL West. Here comes Posada to pinch hit for Ventura. Last night Posada went deep took Pedro into right center. <laughs> Great effort by Trot and Nixon and they are used to that here in Boston. Now Grady Little is going to come out of the dugout and with Todd Jones ready Ruben Sierra on deck. He's going to go to the right hand. I, I question this right here. I mean the way Embry is throwing. I know uh, there is a green monster beckoning in left field but the way he's throwing I don't take him out right here. Plus both Posada and Sierra are better left handed hitters. Yeah. Make sure you pull your hat down real low where all you can see is the catcher's mitt. Major League Baseball Charities is a proud partner of Boys and Girls Clubs of America. All right, kids, today we're going to talk about pregame rituals. You want to take your shoes and you want to point them directly south. Through programs like RBI and Rookie League, they bring baseball and softball to kids around the world. What are you doing, dude? You can't move the shoes. When you're the pitcher, you're in charge. Show no fear. Keep the hitter honest. Together, they create a positive place for kids. Carol Owen, star of T.O. Dogs Dallas and the feel-good dance fest, Pom Pom. You watched him rewrite the rule book in Sharpie and hung ten with his thrilling island antics in Hawaii T.O. Now appearing in his most lucrative adventure yet, Contract Year. The biggest stories in football are in the NFC, and the NFC's on Fox. I'm David Spade. I'll be chaperoning the Teen Choice Awards. Tune in. We're going to be staying up till midnight. Some of us. Not me. The 2003 Teen Choice Awards, Wednesday, August 6th on Fox. Fox Sunday is being invaded. First, what could plunge Springfield into eternal night? Oh, my God. Space monsters are invading us. Dad, that's a moth. The Simpsons. Then, Bonsai has invaded America. Don't miss no pending opportunities. Critics call Bonsai Fall Down Funny. <laughs> All new Bonsai. Then, it's the invasion of the party animals. Everybody out of here, Prado. Who's the fat chick? Malcolm, followed by a bonus Simpsons. The invasion begins with Futurama and King of the Hill at 7 Fox Sunday. Fox tonight, a home invasion, He's running. a desperate chase, oh. and cops are caught in the crossfire. Get down! An all-new cops. Then, a young woman is found dead, her son and unborn child missing. You could help solve this mystery. An all-new America's Most Wanted. It all starts at 8, 7 Central tonight on Fox. Jorge Posada now will bat left-handed against the right-hander Todd Jones. Jones has been a nice find for the Red Sox. But after they picked him up, on the heels of his dismissal from the Colorado Rockies, cut, signed with Boston, and now a big part of their setup crew. That's with both Colorado and Boston. But the numbers are good since he joined the Red Sox bullpen. A good fastball in for a strike. It's 0-2. Jones who earlier this year was better known as a regular columnist for the Sporting News is now concentrating more on what goes on on the field not to say he wasn't then but he is in some key spots for this Red Sox pen and Posada leans back from a 92 mile per hour pitch ball one pitchers can become energized when traded to a contender. You can see his numbers with Boston better than with Colorado. Seen pitchers throw harder. 
just kind of lifted up out of that malaise. That is rocketing into right center field. It's going to get down one hop over the wall. Ground rule double. And it's second and third, only one out. And Ruben Sierra will come to the plate. Embry on the bench, and we talked about Embry swinging. I mean, you had the hole open on the right side. You have Posada with the home run last night. I just don't understand why Grady Little didn't stay with Alan Embry for at least two more hitters. Then perhaps, uh, or one more hitter, to have Embry uh, face Posada. But I mean, the quality of his pitches, I mean, a guy gets a base hit. But, uh, I mean, Embry was throwing hard. I mean, awfully hard. You have Posada not hitting as frequently from the right side. The same with Sierra, both switch hitters. Now, time called the plate. This is an easy move with Sierra batting for Flaherty. Posada's already in the game. They'll keep him in. He'll do the catching. Ruben Sierra hits for Flaherty. He was one for two while he was in there. ball one off the inside part of the plate. So it was a hit by Mondesi that led to the move by Grady Little to take Embry out. Bring Jones in and the Yankees with a golden opportunity here to get on the board in the seventh. That will get out of play. One ball one strike on Sierra hitting 280. Sierra has been a nice addition to this Yankee team. Made a lot of starts when Bernie Williams was still on the disabled list. Has over 2,000 hits in his major league career. And Joe Torre has confidence now in him. Up in a big spot for New York, and he steps out. Two hundred eighty three career home runs which is sixth on the all time major league list home runs by a switch hitter. That's a strike. It's one and two. Sierra thought that ball was inside. I think he can expect to see another pitch of that caliber. The graphic to which Joe alluded. Second and third one out and Sierra hits it foul back off the end of the bat. The Red Sox in their half of the seventh will have Giambi Veritek and Damon is again with two strikes on a hitter Jason Veritek is out to talk to Todd Jones. You're in a situation where Jones is throwing hard enough to blow the ball by Sierra and you don't want to give in to him with an off speed pitch. Sometimes you just have to stay with power and in my view that's what Jones and Veritek should do right here. If you go away from him you're giving in to Sierra. I don't care how many times he fouls it off. Just keep pounding him inside. Away and a base hit up the middle. One run scores. That's Mondesi. Here comes Posada, and it's a 4-2 game. They gave in to Sierra. You pound him in, 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 in. He showed he wasn't getting, getting around on the fastball, and they went away, and Sierra, predictably, you don't know what, you know, it's not that easy to sit up here and, and to say what should be done. But I guarantee you, when a guy's not getting around on the fastball and you go away, you're giving in to the hitter. And that's what Todd Jones and Veritek did with that pitch. Roped up the middle. Enrique Wilson, who is celebrating his 30th birthday today, is pinch running for Sierra over at first. The lead has been cut in half, and 
Now Dave Wallace will come out and talk. I would imagine Joe Torre was thrilled to see Grady Little come out of the dugout and take Alan Embry out of the game with both Posada and Sierra coming up. A I was thinking the same thing, Joe. Very good switch hitters, but left-handed yeah. batters. And what's followed is a double, a two-run single. Still only one out. Now the tying run is at the plate, and Soriano is the man up there. Two out of three today. And in making those moves, Joe Torre has his defense set. Wilson will stay in the game and play third. Posada's the catcher. And they also have speed on the bases now as they have cut the lead in half. Now it's Soriano who has hit 24 home runs this season. Wow. Hammering at that first pitch, strike one. This bullpen in July for the Red Sox, a 3.12 ERA. Right at the top across Major League Baseball. But today, Jones is face two, giving up a double and a single, and now brings home an 0 1 to Alfonso Soriano. Fastball for a strike, it's 0 and 2. Jones working inside with Soriano in those that stance and that left elbow hanging into the strike zone almost. O2 oh, pitch. Got him away. Two out. Inside, 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 and then down and away. Second out here in the seventh. Todd Jones with some getty up on this fastball. Off the plate away to get Soriano. See, Veritek even sitting off the plate. The luxury you have when you're ahead of the hitter. Now it's Jeter who's 0 for 3. ball for strike one the Yankees two out of 17 with men on and Jeter as we mentioned earlier number one across the major leagues hitting 423 coming into this game with runners on base he is the tying run at the plate and that's up and away a ball and a strike Thinking about that Sierra at bat, he even complained about that inside fastball, the home plate umpire, Marvin Hudson. So not only did he foul the ball off that was inside, he complained about it. He did not want the fastball inside. Here's a 1 1. Good fastball from Jones, 1 and 2. The former closer with Houston, with Detroit. Jeter at the plate. Two balls, two strikes, and what a reaction from Todd Jones after not getting that pitch. That tailing fastball, a reaction from Jones and from Grady Little. Veritek trying to calm down Jones.
as Jeter looked for a fastball from an angered Todd Jones. It's up out of the strike zone, and now Millar is going to try to help Todd Jones get control of himself. Yeah, I, I think it's a good time to do that because you could see him try to throw that last ball 200 miles an hour. This could be Jones last pitch of the day no matter what with Giambi on deck and Sauerbeck ready in the bullpen for the Red Sox. Jeter lines one into left field. That ball's going to hit the wall. Heading for third is Wilson. They're going to hold him. Now he runs through the stop sign, and the inning is over. Willie Randolph said stop, Enrique Wilson said I'm going, and with that and out at the plate, the inning comes to a close. So instead of Giambi up with two on and two out in a two-run game, it's time to stretch at Fenway. A recent test put motor oils to a punishing comparison involving extreme heat and stress beyond anything a car would ever face. The contestants, Castrol Syntec versus the leading 5W30 conventional oil. Bob, what are the readings on the other car? In the end, under these grueling conditions, Castrol Syntec performed better. Castrol Syntec. Everything else is just motor oil. Michelin designed the cross-terrain SUV tire specifically for SUVs to help provide responsive handling and a smooth ride. You'd be surprised just how smooth. Michelin, because so much is riding on your tires. Chill out, cash in. Buy four Michelin tires and get a $50 rebate. See your Michelin dealer. Offer ends July 31st. Play Taco Bell's Drink Big, Win Gas Game. Buy a large or extra large drink and you can win instantly. Hundreds can win a year's supply of gas. Millions can win free food. To fill up both tanks, think outside the bun. Were you in a major accident? Are you a lemon? You smell like a lemon. Carfax has the history of the car you're looking at. Get a Carfax report from your dealer or go to Carfax.com and get the truth about used cars. Okay, sweetie. Bye-bye. Can you check on my flight, please? Sure. Call team. Now at Radio Shack, find great deals on full-featured wireless phones, like this Samsung A500 PCS Vision phone from Sprint with full-color screen. Just $49.99 with two-year agreement after $150 in instant savings. How do you always have the answers to everybody's questions? Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. Saturday baseball is brought to you by Castrol Syntec. Everything else is just motor oil. We saw Hideki Matsui misplay a ball in left field going too far under. Manny Ramirez, who plays that left field wall well, not a good fielder, but he played that one well. But the key thing, Joe, as you said, running through the stop sign, two runs down. Willie Randolph, the third base coach, tried to hold up Wilson. But he said no. Jeremy Giambi took a strike from Messina. And now a ball. And if base running helped win the game for the Yankees on Friday night, last night, and two important stolen bases by Enrique Wilson, base running has hurt the Yankees in today's game. And this top of the seventh inning is not the only example of that. As we watch Enrique Wilson run through the stop sign put up by Willie Randolph it, it, with that shot it does not look like he's even looking at Randolph but Willie right there clearly with that left arm up hold it hold it hold it and Wilson was out by five feet one two to Giambi is clunked in the air to Soriano one out This crowd gets on Jeremy Giambi, who's 0 for 3 and hitting under 200. One away, and Veritek, who applied the tag on Enrique Wilson, digs in 0 for 2. So in the top of the seventh inning, two runs on four hits, only one left. And the Yankees have hit into a double play and lost two on the bases. 
Veritek has had a tough time with Messina today. Ball one. Well, that was such a cruel way to end that top of the seventh inning. The Yankees, instead of having the time run and scoring position in Derek Jeter, had Wilson erased at the plate. That erase is also Jeter. And Boston maintains a two-run lead. You have the meat of the batting order coming up. And Giambi, Bernie Williams, Matt Suey, not to be. Strike two on Veritek. Veritek set up for and hoping to avoid his third strike out of the day. Johnny Damon on deck. He has walked three times against Messina today. Just missed the outside corner two and two. Sauerbeck will be the pitcher for Boston. In the top of the eighth inning with Giambi, Bernie Williams, and Matsui. Nick Johnson, another lefty, due up fourth in the inning. Veritek, a full count. Nineteenth consecutive home sellout for the Boston Red Sox. They are packed into Fenway. And watching a 3 2 from Messina. That's foul down the left field line. They can get more into this park now with those seats on top of the green monster and left. A new addition for this season. 3 2 to Veritek. Another foul. Might stay in play. Enrique Wilson is there. And he makes the play to, uh, to get the second out of the inning. And Tim Johnny Damon is wearing a microphone for us. He walks to the plate. And we look at his day today. He walked in the first inning and stole second. Flaherty couldn't make a throw. Walked in the third inning and was thrown out by Flaherty. And had this to say to John. Next I like time it on. better when you didn't make a throw. I like it better when you didn't make a throw, though. I've been throwing you out in about eight years. <laughs> but I liked it better when you didn't throw. And Flaherty said, I haven't thrown you out in eight years. As Damon fouls one out of play off to the left, strike one. That's a tough 0 for, 0 for eight years. <laughs> Just to clean up some. Housekeeping, it's Posada staying in the game behind the plate. And Enrique Wilson, as we just saw, made the play on Veritek, taking over at third after the Yankees pinch hit for both Ventura and Flaherty. 0-1 pitch. That's out of play. 0-2. Mike Messina has done his part. Three first inning runs, and that's a rarity against Messina. A sliced home run down the right field line by Ramirez in the fourth. And as he approaches the 100 pitch mark, he is a strike away from getting through seven. Ball one. How rare is it for a team to score against Messina in the first inning? His first 18 starts this year, nobody scored against him in the first inning until the Red Sox did it on that game we did July 5th. Damon takes high and over the last 37 games he's pitched Cena had allowed a total of four runs in the first inning today three a two run home run by Garcia Parra and a two out RBI double by Trot Nixon still two and two on Damon part of the order will bat for the Yankees in the eighth and then you look ahead can't bypass the eighth but you look ahead to the ninth inning and it may be Byung Hun Kim on the mound trying to save a game against the Yankees here at Fenway 2 2 pitch is on the inside corner strikeout number six for Messina and we go to the eighth the big bats Giambi Williams Matsui coming up against the newcomer Sauerbeck 4 2 Boston
when you hit the brakes, a whole lot of things have to go just right. It's the same with brake repair. That's why you can count on Midas, America's trusted leader in brakes. Right now, get $20 instant savings on any brake service from Midas, even on Midas' famous lifetime brake pads and shoes, the last set of pads or shoes you'll ever buy. That's $20 instant savings right now from the auto service experts, Midas. Should I play it safe or go for it? I'd say either way, Annika. KFC Honey Barbecue Wings or new boneless wings. You can be there with the ladies and the men. Do both. One great taste, two great choices. New KFC boneless wings with whole pieces of 100% breast meat glazed with our honey barbecue sauce or honey barbecue wings with the same great flavor all the way to the bone. Now get seven for $2.99 or 20 for $7.99. Now everyone can do both. Think I could make it on the woman's circuit? No. Come on in, Derek. I thought we'd discuss this thing and have it all worked out. You're our starting shortstop. How can you possibly afford to spend two nights dancing, two nights eating out, and three nights just carousing with your friends? Oh. If you want to enjoy the New York nightlife, bring your Visa card. Because Orso, Cheetah, and the Broom Street Bar don't take American Express. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. When it comes to athlete's foot, this is the latest. This isn't. Lotrimin Ultra, the latest prescription strength medicine available without a prescription. The latest cure, so ultra powerful, one use a day is all you need. Nothing's proven stronger or faster. Lotrimin Ultra. No more biking for you. Oh, boy. Oh. It's the moment of choice, Tylenol or Advil. Doctors nationwide choose Advil most for strains and sprains. Advil gives you longer lasting relief than Tylenol on tough muscle pain. Advance to Advil. The O.C., a new series, premieres Tuesday, August 5th on Fox. The D.A.'s son and the pornographer's daughter, they would ruin me. A 4-2 Red Sox lead. We go to the eighth. And Scott Sauerbeck, who described himself as a curveball flipping freak, <laughs> takes over with Giambi at the plate. Foul tip hung on to by Veritech. So these Yankee hitters now will have to deal with a new lefty in these late innings, especially a guy like Giambi, who down the stretch should see plenty of Sauerbeck. That's on the outside corner. It's 0 and 2. Pretty good fastball from the left hander who had lefties hit 204 against him in his four years with the Pirates. Two different deliveries, too. He dropped down on the first one, over the top on the second fastball. A lot to worry about if you're a left-handed hitter. A foul to keep it 0-2. Here are Giambi's thoughts on dealing with a new lefty, Sauerbeck. You try to find out the pitches that he does have and watch a little bit of video and maybe some of his approach on some of the guys, but like I would say, every hitter is different, you know, unless I were to maybe see some tape on high pitches Barry or, or somebody else, you know, in that power hitting position, you know, that would help. But, you know, just knowing his pitches and then after that, just go up there, see the ball and hit the ball. Well, he just saw a pitch. The Red Sox fans behind home plate saw a pitch, and by the grace of Marvin Hudson is Giambi still at the plate. Sometimes umpires don't pitch uh, pick uh, pitches up like that. I've had umpires tell me they don't. When you drop that far down the curve comes from nowhere. Giambi pops it up left side. Manny Ramirez staggers after it one up. Giambi 0 for 2 with two walks today. Of course, he got the out anyway, but on the one-two pitch, moans and groans, but look how he drops down. That can obscure the umpire from seeing the pitch. Pitch may have been inside anyway, but he drops down at that right angle where the umpire has to pick the ball up. Uh, I think Jason uh, got a reprieve right there. That, Probably had him struck out, but he made the out anyway. Bernie Williams now 0 for 3 and frustrated today by Burkett, the starter, who went five and two thirds shutout innings. Williams came in 12 out of 20 in his career against Burkett, and today grounded out with a runner at third, two out, flied out, and with two on and one out, fly to center. One ball, one strike. 
Jesse Orozco and the job he did last night notwithstanding the Boston Red Sox got the best short inning set up relief left hander available out there when they got sour back from Pittsburgh no question about that this guy can pitch you talk to any of the left handed hitters in the National League they'll say uh -uh, I don't want any part of this guy he is nasty and nasty's good when it concerns pitchers Williams up on the count two and one two and two. So no doubt advantage Sauerbeck as these Yankee hitters get a look at the left hander for the first time. Giambi also said when we sat down with him it takes seven to eight games against him to get a good feel as Sauerbeck's going to have to make a tremendous play cannot. and that ball goes into the camera well Bernie Williams will end up at second with one out. Well, one of the problems with the delivery like Sauerbeck has when he comes off the mound and finishes his windup he's not in a position to field the ball got to be a throwing error it may be a base hit and an error. But you can see him kind of leaning toward first base and he tries to make the play too quickly. Of course he can't set himself to throw. But watch how off balance he is when he makes the pitch. And then by the time he gets to it he tries to throw it too quickly he throws it wild into the photographer's well and Williams is on at second base. Now another lefty Matsui. Matsui hits it in the air to left. Manny Ramirez to his left two out right now they're calling it a straight error as opposed to single E1 and it's two out a runner at second with Nick Johnson coming to the plate. The new MLB authentic Nick collection performance Johnson. batting practice jerseys and caps are here now anyone can get them just visit MLB.com. Sauerbeck trying to do his setup work. But who is he setting up? The young Hun Kim. Who was tagged with the loss last night. Is getting loose now. And you know his history. Big games against the Yankees. World Series 2001. There's a strike to Johnson. Bernie Williams at second with two out. One ball one strike. Johnson is struck out walked line to right. Hit it hard against Embry his last time up. Just inside two and one. Walker Garcia Parra and Manny Ramirez coming up for the Red Sox in the bottom of this eighth. That's why the Red Sox picked up this lefty from Pittsburgh. A wide strike it's two and two. crowd starts to rise here in the eighth. Ripped into the right field corner. It is a one run game. Nick Johnson will dig for second with an RBI double. And it's four three here in the eighth. An error in the inning a two out RBI double and Brady Little with Mondesi coming up and the tying run at second with two out is going to go to his bullpen and call on Byung Hun Kim. Sometimes a curveball pitcher will get under a pitch like that and all it is is a spinner and that's what happened to Scott Sauerbach. The error very costly in this inning. Another chance for Kim against the Yankees here at Fenway.
biggest stories in football are in the NFC, and the NFC is on Fox. A home invasion. He's running a desperate chase. Oh. And cops are caught in the crossfire. Get down! And all new cops at 87 Central tonight on Fox. Ryan Atwood was a good kid caught in a bad situation. You gotta have a plan, some kind of a dream. And things were about to go from bad to worse. I want you out of my house. Mom, where am I gonna go? Only now, he's getting another chance at life. You brought him home? In a whole new world. He's not a criminal mastermind. He's a kid who has nowhere to go. But in the OC, nothing is as it seems. Welcome to the dark side. Fox presents a new series about one kid who had nothing to live for. Oh, this is how it's done in Orange County. And one family who needed something to hold on to. I don't want this kid in my house anymore. Where's he supposed to go? He has a family. It's not up to you to decide whether or not they're good enough. Welcome to the OC. What do you think of Newport? I think I could get in less trouble where I'm from. You have no idea. The best new show of the season premieres Tuesday, August 5th on Fox. Garcia. Sauerbeck gives up the RBI double after committing the error earlier in the inning. And here in the eighth, the Yankees are a well-placed hit away from tying it. And who's on the mound? Byung Hun Kim, who started the season with the Diamondbacks, started in their starting rotation, came to the Red Sox as a starter, and now he is in the bullpen trying to close. And a fastball for a strike over the inside corner. Kareem Garcia is the pinch hitter for Raul Mondesi. Mondesi one out of three and it's a lefty Kareem Garcia. Ground ball base hit right field. Here comes Nick Johnson. The throw by Nixon to the plate is too late and the Yankees have done it to Kim and the Red Sox again. It's 4-4 in the eighth. Kareem Garcia delivers off the bench for Joe Torre. It doesn't matter who it is. Anybody in a Yankee uniform spells gloom to Byung Hung Kim. Last night, the Yankees beat Kim. Today, they tie it against him. Fine base running by Garcia, who goes to second on the errant throw by Nixon. Johnson scores. And Garcia to second base. Now the Yankees are hit away from taking the lead. As Posada stands in. And pops it up on the first pitch. Right center field. And it will be Damon to end the inning. The Boston Red Sox went out to get somebody to anchor their bullpen. They chose Byung Hun Kim, and the Yankees have gotten to him again. In America, where the burger is king, Burger King is proud to introduce our juiciest, most piled high burger ever. The new Great American Burger. How juicy is it? At least two or three napkins worth. Burger King, come on over. The fire is ready. I've made a lot of news on the baseball diamonds, but if you want to find out about this diamond, you've got to go talk to your doctor. Ready to try Viagra for the first time? See your doctor and find out if a free sample's right for you. My doctor says it's right for me. That's why I stay with it. For more information, go to Viagra.com. We're here to learn how to trust our wireless phones, which is hard because we've all been hurt before, haven't we? Johnny? We're accepting that our phones are unreliable, that some features work here and not yeah, over that's there. not helping. Try hugging the phone, not choking it. Okay. Sprint is different. All your services work the same wherever you go on the most complete all-digital wireless network in the nation. Like voicemail and email? Even clear calls. I think we just made a breakthrough. PCS from Sprint. Try the nation's most complete wireless network. When you hit the brakes, a whole lot of things have to go just right. It's the same with brake repair. That's why you can count on Midas. Right now, get $20 instant savings on any brake service from Midas. $20 instant savings on any brake service. Midas. 
Fox was determined to find the perfect tall, dark, and handsome leading man for a sizzling new series. Unfortunately, he'll have to do. I had three jobs when I was that young. I worked my ass off. Well, it grew back. Introducing Louie. Fridays this fall after one at large on Fox. Fox Saturday Baseball is brought to you by Midas Auto Service Experts. Midas, we do that. By Burger King. Come on over. The fire's ready at Burger King. By Gillette Mach 3 Turbo. For the closest shave with less irritation, even against the grain. And by Allstate. You're in good hands with Allstate. Mike Messina is going to head back out and work in the bottom of the eighth inning against the two, three, and four hitters. That means Walker. Then Garcia Parra, then Manny Ramirez. And the Boston offense is asked to go back to work. Kareem Garcia stays in the game. He's in right after pinch hitting for Mondesi. One ball, one strike. For those of you fans who may not remember 2001, games four and five, two out, one on, with the Yankees trailing by two runs in games four and five. They tied it with one swing. Tino Martinez, then Scott Brocious. That's into left field. Pretty well hit. Back is Matsui. This ball is off the monster. And it's a leadoff double for Todd Walker. There's the go-ahead run for Boston with nobody out in the eighth. Now you've got Garcia Parra coming up. He's doubled and homered against Messina. Benitez is getting ready for the Yankees in their bullpen. If you're wondering about Garcia Parra and saying, well, you got to walk him in this situation, he has not been intentionally walked all year. And the reason is Manny Ramirez is hitting behind him. But don't expect one here. And Garcia Parra will face Messina. Runner at second, Damian Jackson pinch running for Todd Walker. Garcia Parra could put Boston back out in front. Showing bunt and taking <laughs> ball one. That's a trick. No way he's going to be bunting as Benitez is ready for the Yankees. Messina one out that is impossible to explain. Nomar Garcia Parra who had homered and doubled against Messina who's over a hundred pitches on the day with a runner at second and nobody out is up there bunting. Go figure. He's had one sacrifice all year and against a guy that he's handled. There's no way you could be bunting there. Now they're going to walk Ramirez. I mean, if Mussina throws the ball hard, I mean, there's no way that Garshapar is not going to hit it hard if Mussina's in the fat part of the plate. So an intentional I, pass handed to Ramirez. I thought for sure when he squared around the first time that there's no way he's bunting. He's just trying to draw the infield in. Well, I'll say this. The infielders didn't budge. No. They couldn't believe it. Say, if you have no Mark Garciaparra bunting against you and you're Joe Torre, you say thank you very much. Now when he pops it up, the infrequency in his trying to bunt dictates that he shouldn't be bunting. If he's hitting all the time, why bunt here all of a sudden? Bunting is a skill. It's an art. You have to do it a lot. So now with two on one out it is Kevin Millar with Trot Nixon on deck and Millar who is two out of three today against Messina will try to put Boston back out in front.
Ball one outside. Now with Trot Nixon on deck, it's Jesse Orozco getting ready in the bullpen, and Benitez has taken a seat. Orozco will be the pitcher should Millar get on because Trot Nixon's the next hitter. A 4-4 game in the bottom of the eighth. Boy, that is inexplicable. You're right. This leaves you shaking your head. A strike over the inside corner. One ball, one strike. You're talking about it the last time he was up. He had 370 one year. He won batting titles in 99 and 2000. You mean he can't at least get him over? Hmm. Runners on at first and second. One away. One ball, one strike. Cena trying to get through eight innings today. Not close, two and one. Millar has driven in 64 runs on the season. 112 pitches this afternoon for Messina. it into right. Kareem Garcia just into the game. Takes care of it. Two out. And now with Trot Nixon coming up we'll see if the new left-handed specialist for the Yankees, Orozco, is coming in. He is coming in. Joe Torre comes out of the dugout. And Messina will exit here in the eighth. A double, a line drive out with Garcia Parr trying to bunt. An intentional pass to Ramirez. Millar made the second out of the inning. Here comes Orozco. Fox tonight. A home invasion. He's running. A desperate chase. Oh. And cops are caught in the crossfire. Get down! An all-new cops. Then a young woman is found dead. Her son and unborn child missing. You could help solve this mystery. An all-new America's Most Wanted. It all starts at 8, 7 Central tonight on Fox. in football are in the NFC, and the NFC is on Fox. Gonzalez and the D-backs take on Sosa and the Cubs. Fox Saturday Baseball next week. Ever wanted to get away from the hustle bustle of the big city? We're going to make Waterford Falls our new home. Oh, that's marvelous. <laughs> Falling on hard times, have you? This fall, one man is searching for a life less complicated, but he'll discover. Join me? Don't smoke, sir. Oh, it's string cheese. That these plain folks are just plain nuts. I can't eat this. I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Cardiac arrest. Come on, one little piece. A Minute with Stan Hooper, a new comedy coming this fall to Fox. Fox Sunday is being invaded. First, what could plunge Springfield into eternal night? Oh, my God. Space monsters are invading us. Dad, that's a moth. The Simpsons. Then, Bonsai has invaded America. Don't miss no betting opportunities. Critics call Bonsai fall down funny. <laughs> All new after The Simpsons Fox Sunday. No place to I'm so sick of our parents controlling our lives. Depending on the outcome of this game, a lot of people will be asking why Nomar Garciaparo was bunting in the eighth, thinking that maybe the ball Millar just hit was going to fall in for a base hit. Instead, it went for the second out, and Garciaparo down there glaring in the dugout. You wonder if he bunted on his own or if he was asked to bunt by Grady Little. That will be something to be determined after the game, and what a terrific effort by Mike Messina today. Two on, two out, and Gabe Kapler will pinch hit. 
and deal with the Roscoe. Now the runners will advance to second and third as that ball gets away from Posada. Second pass ball in two games, one with Benitez throwing last night. Ball off the heel of the glove of Posada. And this one did not touch the ground. Now, in, in Posada's defense, even though both of those balls should have been caught, it is tough catching new pitchers in the middle of the season. It that is ball, a passed ball. That ball clearly should have been handled. Second and third, two out. Kapler at the plate, trying to be a Red Sox hero today. And it's low. 2-0. On deck is Bill Miller, the number two hitter in the league. In the bullpen is Benitez again as you look at the season split between San Diego and the Yankees. Last night, Orozco faced two hitters, got them both out, including striking out Damon with the bases loaded two out in a tie game. On the inside corner, it's two and one on Kapler. Joe, that reaction, uh, at least from my standpoint, looked like Garciaparo is just mad at himself. No glaring at Grady Little glaring out to the field. I can't imagine Grady Little giving him the sacrifice in that situation. Here's a 2-1 to Kapler. The third and foul, it's 2-2. Two and two. They remember Jesse Orozco from 1986. Game seven, final out. And the New York Mets with the victory. In the 1986 World Series, the strikeout of Marty Barrett. Kapler 0 for his last 17. Second and third, two out, tie game, bottom of the eighth inning. And Gabe just got a piece. Kapler's first weekend with the Red Sox went seven for nine with two home runs, seven RBIs against the Florida Marlins back at the end of June. Started this season with Colorado as well. Second and third, two out, two to the count. Full count. Two two curve ball and Kapler will get a three two curve ball. umpire Kevin Kelly and an inning that started well for the Red Sox with a leadoff double by Todd Walker ends in frustration they've stranded five and after eight we're tied 4-4 When it comes to athlete's foot, this is the latest. This isn't. Lotrimin Ultra, the latest prescription strength medicine available without a prescription. The latest cure, so ultra powerful, one use a day is all you need. Nothing's proven stronger or faster. Lotrimin Ultra. There are ordinary disposable razors, but now there's new Sensor 3 from Gillette. Totally new handle, three blades, on springs that adjust to your face. No disposable shapes better. It could be the best disposable you ever threw away. New Gillette Sensor 3. This computer would be perfect for school. Yeah, but this one would be a lot easier for you to, you know, bring home every weekend. It's that time again. And Circuit City is the place to save on all your back-to-school gear. Right now, you'll save $250 on this awesome notebook computer from HP with a DVD player and CD burner. Now just $899.99 after instant and mail-in rebates. Circuit City, we're with you. I'm not supposed to be here. There's only one place Wanda really belongs. I bought you a falafel. Wanda at large. Friday City. Enrique Wilson first pitch swinging and he fouls it out of play off to the left. 
As we go back to the check swing by Kapler, rung up by the first base umpire Kevin Kelly. And Orozco comes in and strikes out a right handed batter. Up the middle, Garcia Parra. What a play to his left for the out. On the other side of second base. Man, what a play. Wilson had led off the ninth inning of last night's game with a base hit up the middle. Perhaps Garcia Parra playing him more to the middle. Pirouettes and makes the throw. Brilliant play by a terrific player. And it is stating the obvious to say that to Garcia Parra's credit, he didn't let the frustration of that at bat in the bottom of the eighth inning carry over into the top of the ninth, ready for that ball to his left. One out, Soriano takes a ball up and away. Alfonso Soriano, two out of four. He has hit 24 home runs this season. Tied for fifth in the American League. Two and zero. Oh. Joe, after those two games, uh, games four and five in, 19, in uh, 2001 against the Diamondbacks, Diamondbacks Yankees, the horrible finish, the Yankees winning both games. I remember an article by William Roden of the New York Times the next day. 2 out to Soriano is fouled away. William said gloom is a universal language. And that was Kim's as a Korean. The first Korean appearance in the World Series in 2001. And I thought I've always uh, thought that was such an appropriate remark because gloom was all around him that night. On two and one Soriano fouls it away two and two. Remember how his teammates uh, came to the middle of the field commiserating with him. Almost like a, a viewing or a wake. That's how low the Diamondbacks were after games four and five against the Yankees and they came back to beat the Yankees in seven games. Two two pitch. Two out. Last night Byung Hun Kim came in in the ninth inning. He gave up the sacrifice fly to Derek Jeter. Scoring Enrique Wilson who singled stolen second moved to third on a bunt and then today coming in in the eighth and giving up a two out RBI hit to right by Kareem Garcia. The score Nick Johnson to tie this game. At four. Now it's Jeter. With two out nobody on. Jeter is the one that won. That game four with an extra inning home run against Byung Hun Kim in 2001, hitting a home run to right. Yambi on deck. All one pitch. Oh and two. The Red Sox in the bottom of this ninth will have the bottom three in their lineup. Miller, Giambi, and Veritek. Through the middle and right through Byung Hun Kim into center, and now Giambi will bat. In last night's game, Derek Jeter with the sacrifice fly that we just showed you into right center field almost hit. takes Kim's head off right here. Jason. The next Giambi. hitter, Jason Giambi, was hit in the right thigh. If there was anything that looked intentional, that did to me. Looked like all the frustration of facing the Yankees and the heck with this. I'm not standing any more of this. Giambi took two steps toward the mound and then went to first base. So Giambi perhaps with a different score to settle. Strike one. Giambi hitless on the day two walks. 
28 home runs this season. One ball, one strike. Last year, Uget Urbina had a terrific year closing games for the Red Sox. They let him walk away. They've been struggling to close games all season. Kim had been good before last night since going to the bullpen. As that's high and tight, two and one on Giambi. Installed as the Red Sox closer July 1st. One and two, five saves, a 0.68 ERA since. A 2-1 to Giambi. This is a key pitch right here. Because if Kim runs the count to three and two, you're going to have a running Derek Jeter, a guy within the last week who scored from first base on a 3-2 pitch against Cleveland. Giambi with a floater into center. That ball might drop. It is caught by Johnny Damon. What a catch playing deep in center. Coming in and making the dive and grab to end the inning. The young Hun Kim is bailed out by Damon for the final out in the top of the ninth. Bottom of the order coming up. 4 for the score. Fox Sunday is being invaded. First, what could plunge Springfield into eternal night? Oh my god, space monsters are invading us! Dad, that's a moth. The Simpsons. Then, Bonsai has invaded America. Don't miss no betting opportunities! Critics call Bonsai fall down funny. Ah! All new bonsai. Then it's the invasion of the party animals. Everybody out of here, Pato! Who's the fat chick? Malcolm, followed by a bonus Simpsons. The invasion begins with Futurama and King of the Hill at 7 Fox Sunday. Fox tonight, a home invasion. He's running. A desperate chase. Oh. And cops are caught in the crossfire. Get down! An all new cops. Then a young woman is found dead. Her son and unborn child missing. You could help solve this mystery. An all new America's Most Wanted. It all starts at 8 7 Central tonight on Fox. <laughs> stories in football are in the NFC, and the NFC is on Fox. Gonzalez and the D-backs take on Sosa and the Cubs. Fox Saturday Baseball next week. Bottom of the ninth inning. The Red Sox have blown a 4-0 lead today. It's 4-4. And Boston will try to do what they've done 15 times this season, and that is win a game in their final at bat. What a catch by Johnny Damon. And to both of us, he saved a run, even though Jeter started that play at first base with that diving, lunging catch in center field to end the top of this ninth inning on the ball hit by Giambi. Because if Damon doesn't come up with that ball, Jeter scores. And your point, well taken, to protect deep where he had to play Giambi and to make that play. That was sparkling. Now it's Armando Benitez trying to keep it 4-4 and send this game into extra innings. Bill Miller hits the first pitch into center for Bernie Williams. One away as we look at the numbers for Armando Benitez with the Yankees. His fifth game, an ERA of 1.80. Anything but automatic for the New York Mets this season. He was an all-star as the Mets representative at U.S. Cellular Field in Chicago in the middle of the month. There are very few pitchers with Giambi coming up again. He's had another tough day 0 for 3. 
But there are very few pitchers or players, for that matter, who have been traded in the middle of the season and seen their slate wiped clean like Benitez. Strike one on Giambi, who's 0 for 3. And hitting only 189. Five home runs this season for the younger brother of the Yankee slugger. Bear attack on deck. And a strike on the outside corner, 0-2. Tell you that the split fingered pitch for Armando Benitez really acts just more like a changeup. It doesn't have a ton of downward action, but it's just slower than that mid to high 90s fastball. 1 2 pitch. Giambi. 2 and 2. That's the reason Joe Torre took him out of the game last night with the count two balls, balls and no strikes. And the Runner on at third base. That was a tying run. Brought in Rivera. Actually, the go-ahead run at the time at the bottom of the eighth. 2-2 two -two pitch. Giambi lines one into right field. That's a hit, and he's got to think two. He will round first and hold there with a one-out single. Well covered by Kareem Garcia down the right field line. That was anything but automatic, and it took a good play to keep Giambi out of scoring position. Hey, you could see Mondesi making a play like this, but with Garcia only a second Number inning in the three. field to make Jason. a play like that Maritime. is to his credit. He got the ball before it hit the wall. If it hits the wall, it caroms around there. You don't know what it's going to do. Fine play by Garcia. Now it's Veritek, who has hit 17 home runs. 0 for 3 today, but that was against Messina, who pitched seven and two-thirds strong innings today for the Yankees. Here's a guy who tied the game last night in the eighth inning with a hit off Mariano Rivera a two out base hit. Beloved by his pitching staff. Far underrated as an all around player is Jason Veritek. 1 0 pitch. A high strike it's one and one. It's interesting the crowd right now. It's almost sedate. Normally a tie ball game with the runner on in the ninth inning. It's everybody on their feet. But I, you know it seems like uh, the crowd's almost skeptical saying time. No, it doesn't matter what we do. We can't beat these guys. The Yankees seven and four against the Red Sox this season. But it's history playing a part of that. And within this season a lot of late inning heartache mm. for the Boston Red Sox and their faithful fans. A 1 1 to Veritek. It's foul off to the right out of play one and two. One ball, two strikes, one on, one out. 4-4. Four, four. In the bottom of the ninth. Two and two. Control has been a problem this season for Armando Benitez. Best example of that game, of, of that, the lack of control was exhibited against the Yankees in that Sunday night game when he walked four in an inning to blow a save. Game the Mets eventually lost. 2-2. Two, 3-2 two. and two with Johnny Damon, the leadoff hitter in this Boston lineup on deck. And I would think you'd have to send the runner right here. Giambi is not a fast runner, but that has nothing to do with it. It's up to Veritek to put the ball in play. Stay out of the double play. You do a lot of things sending the runner in this situation.
Giambi is running. Veritek strikes out. Throw down. Safe. And with two out, Giambi steals second. And that's the potential winning run here in the ninth inning. It's harder to throw for a catcher on a 3-2 count because his first responsibility is to stay back and to try to get the strike. You can see Posada just a little bit back on his heels and not firing out of there because he doesn't want to in case the pitch is a strike and it has to be called. He doesn't want to go out of there and rob Benitez of the strike. And now they will walk Johnny Damon after Jeremy Giambi just picked up his first ever stolen base in the big league. Is that right? His first ever? And it'll be two on with two out for Damian Jackson, who took over as a pinch runner last inning for Todd Walker. You know, seeing Derek Jeter make that, uh, that attempted to tag on Jeremy Giambi, more of the conventional tag, nothing like the backflip that Jeter made in Oakland when Jeremy Giambi tried to score against the Athletics in that famous play, infamous as far as the Athletics are concerned, when the Yankees came from behind to beat the Athletics three games to two. Well, it's going to be two on with two out, and David Ortiz is going to pinch hit for Damian Jackson. Which is interesting because only Mirabelli is left on the bench and should this game continue into extra innings. It's going to have to be creative defensive positioning by Grady Little mm. on the infield. We'll give you our good hands play of the game as they talk on the mound and there are two of them. It's presented by Allstate. First Bernie Williams in left center field in the sixth inning. That Rob Miller and then last inning to keep it a 4 4 game in the top of this ninth inning the diving catch by Damon to end the threat in the top of this ninth. But now with two on and two out here comes David Ortiz the typical DH for this Boston team hitting 284. Should that happen Joe Ortiz was will definitely stay in the game and go to first Millar will probably move to second base. Fastball for a strike and Ortiz didn't like the call. You could put Miller at second base and move Millar to third. That's potentially. True. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to win it in the bottom of the ninth inning with Ortiz. Two on. Two out and now two strikes on the pinch hitter. Red Sox and Grady Little hope they don't have that problem. They hope to end it here of course. Big numbers for Ortiz. This season against the Yankees. Benitez trying to send it to the 10th. Doesn't get the outside part. Ball one. Giambi, the lead runner at second. Two out. One two pitch. And the left center field, that might do it. The Boston Red Sox have defeated the Yankees 5-4. David Ortiz delivers in the pinch with two out in the ninth. Jeremy Giambi who these fans were booing as he walked to the plate with one out and nobody on in this ninth inning singled picked up his first ever major league stolen base and scores on the two out pinch hit by David Ortiz Brady Little sending the runner three and two and as you said Joe Giambi getting his first ever stolen base he's at second and after the walk to Damon 
The game-winning hit by Ortiz and relief for the Red Sox. As the young Hung Kim becomes the winner in this ball game. For Boston, their 16th victory in their final at bat, and it comes with two out against Armando Benitez. Benitez is tagged with the loss. Young Hun Kim will get the victory, and who would have thought at the start of this season he would have the Red Sox and Yankees meeting on July 26th and see winning pitcher Kim for Boston, losing pitcher Benitez for the Yankees. And Nomar Garcia Parra, you talk about relief with that failed bunt effort in the eighth inning, a line drive out to Mike Messina. There's John Burkett, today's starting pitcher, now wearing shorts and a cutoff T-shirt <laughs> and sandals, out to join in the celebration. And Giambi is right in the middle of it, as he should be for the Boston Red Sox. Burkett thinks it's a Beach Boys concert. <laughs> and the Yankees will leave and look ahead to tomorrow, the rubber game of this series. A thriller last night won by the Yankees and a thriller today won by the Boston Red Sox and Boston now two and a half games out in the AL East. For more information on today's game and for the latest information on Major League Baseball, go to FoxSports.com. Next week on Fox, Albert Pujols and the Cardinals visit the Mets. The Dodgers go to Atlanta. Bonds and the Giants head to Cincinnati. Coverage starts at 1 Eastern. Check your local listings. For Tim McCarver, I'm Joe Buck, and our thanks to Steve Horn in the booth, Jeff Gowan, John Moore, our director, and so many, Eric Billigmeyer, who helped bring this game to you. We say so long from Boston. You've been watching Fox Sports, your home for the 2003 Major League Baseball postseason and World Series. The Yankees and Red Sox split the first two games of this set. Yankees won by one last night. The Red Sox on this win by one today. So long from Fenway.